Okay, we are here. We are live with some more Pokemon Scarlet. I almost said Legends Arceus. No, nope, not Legends Arceus. We're doing Pokemon Scarlet. <laughs> uh, I've said that name so many times it gets burned in my brain. But yeah, last time we took on the fourth gym leader, or at least in our order, which is the water gym that was Kofu. Uh, we beat him really without any problems. You're like 10 levels higher than him, so. Uh, and then we messed around a little bit with doing raid stuff. Uh, to try to see if we could find like a four star raid because uh, I'll get to that in a sec and then uh, we briefly swam over or yeah over here and looked at this stuff and now we kind of want to look we did look a little in this zone I don't think I really need to go back there for now so I think our plan is to kind of go up the river look around here and then head to the next gym so uh, next thing on the t table that I wanted to bring up was the I talked about mass outbreaks and raids Coming in through the Poke Portal. Uh, it should, I think it's under Mystery Gift. Check Poke Portal news. news. Let's see. So it should be a thing today for both raids. You've connected the update and received the latest updates. Oh, is that really? You don't like tell me? That's like, I was hoping it'd be like, here's what's up to date. Oh, wait, did it say the mass out your mask outbreaks occurring? Does that mean there's a- okay, hang on. Oh my god, I just realized these points on the map are the fucking Terramons, aren't they? Hang them over there. They might- well, the yellow ones at least. Are they? Wait! I'm so lost. I don't know what they are, actually. Um, but yeah, so the reason I was saying that is there are, there's an event where there are supposed to be mass outbreaks of Pokemon, uh, okay, basically in the main game I found, I was saying it was Cramorant and Morpico, it's actually Oranguru and Pissimian, um, that, you know, so that you could find mass outbreaks, you could find ones that are exclusive to other games, and then there's also five star terror raids that have Armoru, Sherluge, Stonejourner, and then Ice Q is the last one, I kept forgetting that one. Um, and five-star raid. So I was like, okay, well, we got one ra one star raid, two star raid, three star raid for each gym badge. So I was hoping that if we beat the fifth gym, we'd be able to do those terror raids. Uh, I reread uh, the the news because it popped up in Pokemon Home today again because it was going live today. And uh, it said to challenge the five-star raids, uh, you have to beat the game. So we're we're not doing those. I I was sorely mistaken, which now makes me think that maybe five-star. Raids are a post-game thing, actually, and not a a thing we get in the main game, or at least not until very late into the game. So there's that. Um, but the outbreaks for Orangru and Pissimi we should theoretically be able to do, although I wasn't seeing any on the map. And then, um, what was the other thing I was going to say on in regards to that? Oh, should we gotta get the new teammates? That was the other thing. Okay, we'll do that in a sec. We'll just do this one terror raid. I could blabber while we do it. Um, uh, um, yeah, so we, uh, blah, we can't, we, I don't know if we'll be able to do anything with it, unfortunately, but it is what it is. At least I'm aware of how it kind of works with this sort of thing, so hopefully if they keep doing stuff soon, you know, given they, they had, like, Infernape raids a couple weeks ago, like, terror raids that I was unable to do, it was, like, right when I started playing, and then they had this, it seems like they're still doing semi-frequent... Like, not like huge things, but like little event thingies with this game. So, fingers crossed that uh, the next one we can make use of. If we get the chance for Oranguru Pisidian, that'd be cool. Um, I have no clue where they spawn, though. So, yeah, and then the Morpico and Cramorant, as well as Alolan Sandshrew and Alolan Vulpix, are exclusive to the two DLC areas, so we're definitely not getting those. Um,. I think that's that. Um, the next thing on the, I wanted to bring up is the last time we actually caught not one, but two teammates. Uh, we caught a Varum and a Veluza, both the named Pokemon, funny enough. Um, I did not nickname them in the moment because, oh, okay, well, initially, Varum, there was like an hour left in the stream, and I just couldn't think of anything off the top of my head that I liked. So I was like, I'll just do it tomorrow. It'll give me a day to think about it. And then Veluza, I suddenly found like right at the end of the stream while we were exploring the areas on the coast. 
uh, in the little islands, like right at literally like five minutes before I ended the stream. I couldn't think of anything immediately, so I was just like, I'll just wait on this too. Um, so we will take a look at those in just a second. Because I will come up with names. So I, I have come up with names for both of them that I like. At least decently. One, I, I like the Varum name I have. The Veluza is I was, I was struggling a little bit. But I got something that last minute that I think is kind of funny. Not funny, but like, I, I, it works. <laughs> I, I have a nickname that works. It is, an, it is, it is a nickname. Uh, so, yeah, okay, that was my giant rambling mess. Hopefully something I said made any level of sense. So I don't think I've seen a ditto that wasn't in Meowth form yet. Funny enough. Wow, that, okay, low kick speed vibing. Uh, okay. Boxes. So, we're gonna move them into the party. So we have Veluza, which is actually level 38, so it's in a pretty good spot. Varum's 28, so Varum actually does need levels. And then we could also switch out the 47s, probably. Okay. Yeah, we've not used you in a while. This functions. Uh, honestly, we can put you in the lead. So we want to figure out the what TMs we want on these guys. So I think we looked briefly at their move pools. Um, but not a ton. So Veluza, I'm leaning more... We have a modest nature, unfortunately, on it, but I'm really leaning toward doing it as a physical attacker because the current moves it has are definitely more physical. I think I'm gonna teach it Ice Fang. Uh, I'll craft one more screw it. Um, but yeah, so, because we have Aqua Cutter, we have uh, Night Slash, and we have Slash, all with an increased critical chance. Uh, Filet Away seems like a really good move, but I just don't think I need it for single player, um, at least at this point, because we're just, Always very over leveled anyway, so. Seems hype, but. You know. Okay, so Varum's the one that I think. is. more important to get something good on, because it just doesn't have. a super great move pool. So I'm pretty sure it's also more physical leaning. Okay, we have three poison jabs. We have three bulldozers, three thieves. Okay, it's gonna be something in there. Um, yeah, you need a little bit more. Okay, we have Iron Heads, so we got that. Um, the Poison Jab for sure, because we had Sludge, which does not work. Jarabal physical or special? I think we'll just go full attack. Jarabal is physical, but we kind of plus speed. I think we do Bulldoze and Thief, just to have coverage. We have, we have the supplies for it. And we can always reteach moves. But yeah, I think we looked at previously learnable moves. At least we did on Varum. I don't remember... Eject you. Oh, you have Pluck. I think... Do I want to get that? I guess I'll get rid of Slash. And then because Aqua Cutter and Night Slash... Uh, we need like, oh yeah, we need like Psychic Fangs or something on it. Um, our, uh, have high crit rate still. Uh, that's why I was originally gonna have Slash, but I just don't think we need a normal move. Is that we can then give it... The... Scope Lens. I don't know about Varum, to be honest. Get the muscle band, honestly. I think that works for now, at least. So that should be that all taken care of. I can probably. Oh yeah, we gotta. I want to take us some screenshots with these fellers because we haven't had the chance. Hi. Oh yeah, then we gotta nickname them. Duh. Yeah, that's kind of important. Yeah, toward the end we found quite a few Pokemon last time. Ah. Ah. The 
level up more. Ah! Yeah, we finally have a water type, which is nice. Yeah. We should have done the screenshots by the beach. It's like, wow, you just zoomed. Oh. Sorry. Oh my god, you're fast. What the fuck? I mean, your speed stat isn't even like that much, I don't think. What the? You are... Energetic? Ah! Thing looks so funny, I love it. Tell it's asleep. I want to talk to you. I won't say hi to you as well, real quick. Okay, so nicknames. So I'll tell you, I have two different nicknames. I could not think of anything yesterday, and I so I talked to Bridget, and pretty much immediately. She came up with the name Hunkmobile, which was very funny and I liked it. But that's not the name I'm going with because that led me to a different name. Uh, of a similar nature. Because yeah, I was looking up like cars and car parts uh, last time. Uh, Oh yeah, I gotta figure out how I want to spell this exactly. I guess I'm adding extra letters now that I think of a... Okay, hang on, let me, let me see how I want to spell this real quick. Um... Okay, well I can't spell. Okay, I think... Okay, I'll show you what I had originally spelled out, but I think it has more letters than it needs. And then I'll change it. But so the name we're going with is actually V-Hunkle. Like, vehicle, obviously. But I, I had it written with I-C-L-E, and then I was like, I could probably remove the I, right? And then I was like, I could probably just remove the C as well. I think that looks a little better. V V-Hunkle. As opposed to vehicle. <laughs> oh, you're so snoozy. Oops, oh, sorry, I woke you. And then for Veluza, Veluza, I was having a bit more trouble coming up with something I really liked. Uh, I played with a few names. The first thing that I came up with was was hunk fillet, like you know, like fish fillet. And Bridget also liked like fillet a hunk. Um, but I was sort of so-so on it. I had like Luz hunkin, but I was like, I have too many hunkins. Uh, so I started looking stuff up in relation to, to Veluza. And so I, fa I, I like found the exact type of fish that it's based off of, which I think are called hakes. Um, they're pretty common, it looks like. They're pretty popular in a lot of Spanish-speaking countries. Uh, or like Portuguese-speaking countries as well, I think. Um, so like the, but like, hey, it's like H-A-K-E. Like naming hunk, hake would just be hunk. Like, like there's not like a good way to like play a word on that. It's too short. Uh, but, like, it's official, like, name for a lot of them, or at least the official one that I think Veluza is based off of. I think it's pronounced Merlusius, Merlusius, something like that. So I was debating, like, Merlusius Hunk. Like, it kind of has an interesting-ish ring, but it, like, I wouldn't be able to have a space, and it was just sort of like, and I'm not even sure I'm pronouncing it right. But uh, while looking up some fish stuff, I found this name, and it's not exactly accurate descriptive-wise, and you'll know why in just a sec. But I think it has a funny sound to it. And that would be Hunkerhead. As in like, uh, like Hammerhead Shark. Uh, it's not a shark, but I mean it has like the spikiness. It has like the shark vibe, I guess. And also Hunkerhead is just a pretty funny kind of pun. So I think we're gonna run with this. Um, I can close a few things real quick on my end. But yeah, uh, let's, let's take a quick peek at the raid that's down there, as well as maybe the auctions for funsies. Oh, we need to also catch a regular giraffe rig again. Uh, because we evolved ours. 
Just for the living decks. Uh, Veluza? Hunkerhead? I was also, for a sec I was mentally joking about it. I'm like, I could name this thing Hunker Hunk. <laughs> but then it's getting too far away. Okay, you, you're just not. Okay, yeah. So interest, okay, so it does seem to base these auto battles off stabs like I thought it did. The reason I, I point that out is just because, um, yeah, that hits psychically, but we don't have a psychic move. So stab moves are more important, or like, or what this seems to be based on. Anyway, let's go see what this raid is real quick. Anything interesting? This is... I mean, Blues is taking stuff out. Yeah, yeah, Blues is in a better spot, as I said, than Varum is, just because it's level, like, 38. Oh, okay, I don't care. Um... Bingo! Yeah, we'll, we'll be able to actually just, like, use it immediately, essentially. Because, yeah, it was over, like, by those rocks. Yeah, the things in the water were pretty high level. Some of them were actually too high level for us to catch. Um, but yeah, so since I, since I, I found out that I can't actually, uh, immediately, or do anything with the terror raids for this event, we could technically not jump to Norman. Um, so I was sort of debating if that's what I wanted to do or not. Uh, just cause it was, you know, it became less of a requirement, so to speak. Um, but the only other thing I think that I'd want to do would be to go to this area here and do the other Path of Legends. Because a lot of the stuff over here is still pretty hard to access. Um, and, and he's listed as middle of the pack, which is pretty good. So I'm leaning toward doing Norman, then bouncing back here and doing this. They're also pretty middle, so maybe we go to this person then. And then do like this, and then we kind of see from there. I don't know. Which one are Qualets again? How much do I care? The death, okay. Not very much. But, you know, I like bids. And berries. I don't know what my cap is here, to be honest. Because, yeah, I don't really need need these. But friendship berries are good, and... Same with, uh... Things that lower stats. Okay, I think... Yeah, I'll do one more. But I'm, I'm pretty much gonna be out, I think. Yeah, I don't think this is worth it. I don't think I want to spend this much on spidef berries. Spidef dropping berries. I, I, I kind of like this bidding system, even if it's expensive and not that important. Fried fillets. I, do I want them? 44 fried... Jeez Louise. Okay. I'm not going to spend that much on this either. Why, why is there a little kid? Why do you want 44 fried fillets? Oh, yeah, we did get some new sandwiches and stuff yesterday as well. A lot of little things. I don't think I'm going much higher than this, because like, what am I going to do with all these? One more is... Okay, yeah, they're still going now. I just don't have enough of a need for this. I don't- I'm not going to make that many fucking sandwiches. And I'm a cheaper, anyway. I just don't... Did we buy? I think we we bought a stone last time. What stone was it even? I think it was a shiny stone. We do have a shiny stone. I think I'll let it be. Oh yeah, we did get a gym badge. I wonder if that affects like what's at the the like deli bird item stuff. You can check. I'm gonna take a quick backtrack because I want to see what some of those like gold Pokemon markers were like. If I could figure out what that meant. Um, 
And if we suddenly find an ice cube outbreak, that'd be pretty sick. It's only gonna be around for today, tomorrow, and Sunday. Ziki Berry. But yeah, so I'm like, yeah, like, dude, rushing to the gym is now not as important. Um, but I'm like, I think I still, like, I, I, part of me is debating if I should switch my plan a bit. Um, I just, I don't know if it's necessary. I see sparklies on the, wait, does it actually tell you on the minimap? Oh! Whoa, 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 actually, isn't it? Oh! Wait, 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 Oh! The gold outbreaks are for... Are there like any others? There's one here too. For the event! Does that mean the red ones... Oh, so the red ones are just normal outbreaks then. Bro, okay, I don't know how I didn't realize that. I'm a little bit stupid. What level are they? 26. I mean, okay. I don't know which one's exclusive to this game versus which one's exclusive to, um... Scarlet. So, uh... There's that, I guess. But we may- I mean, we may as well... Oh wait, no, 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 is that gonna beat itself up? Okay, I live. We may as well, uh... Fuck with this. Oh yeah, and I, I, from what I know, this should not have a... I don't think at least it has an increased shiny rate. Like, I guess it's not impossible that it does, but... Uh, nothing in the documents... Like, documents, looks like the Pokemon Home message mentioned that. I've seen it get mentioned before when I had home but didn't actually play the game. I would just check things out of curiosity. Simeon of her. The Simeon, the teamwork Pokemon. This Pokemon battles by throwing hard berries. It won't obey a trainer who throws Pokeballs without skill. Ah. We're coming in with a, a, a really great name. Okay, well, so we're going to do this then for the moment, I think. So that's good to know that that's how that works. I don't know why I never put together that those red things were the outbreaks, because they're probably always on top of outbreak Pokemon. But yeah, that's Yeet Machine. Um. But yeah, well, we can do a quick check if there's any shinies or anything. Uh, is he gonna have a picnic here? Is there a flatter spot I can go to? Yeah, so the gold ones, are, yeah, are in fact reference to that. And I, I don't know how I didn't realize either that there's little sparklies on the minimap for where things are. Or for where hidden items are. I guess I just haven't really paid much attention to the minimap, if I'm being completely honest. Okay. Now you let me? I'm screwed, man. I have Mariah left to get. Rip. Oh, yeah. I have, like, three of those in home. They're kind of a pain in the ass to get. Um. So. Yeah. How do you have three... I trade for shit in home. The issue is with like for Crydon and Maridon because they're in like the like Walking Wake, um, you know, the, that trio and Iron, you know, the Punchy Boy, whatever their names are, <laughs> Iron Leaves, stuff like that. Um, they're very hard to trade for because of how exclusive they are because I haven't been in like Pokemon Go or anything. So pretty much I have to trade up to get like shiny legendaries by trading other shinies for better legendaries. To get like Zacian and Zamazenta or Regieleki, Regi things that are harder to get. It's basically a trade up process. Um, and then I trade them for, for Shinies. <laughs> so I probably have like three Coridons as well. Um, 
I just I haven't transferred anything to this game yet. I'm like, I'll wait until I beat the game. But yeah, okay, what do we do? We have any fighting? We, can, we do have two fighting. We can make a pickle sandwich for fighting level two, it looks like. Right? Nope, that's level one. Okay. You tried. What the? What? Why do I have. Okay. Why do I have it written that fighting. Hang on. Okay, who messed this up? Oh no, it's a great pick. Wait. Oh, okay, I just put these on the wrong layer, like a bozo. Hang on. There we go, this should be great pickle. There we go. Cool. Get a red flag. What does this even have on it? Pickles and watercress. This, this this sounds like an awful fucking sandwich. Not gonna lie. I don't know. I guess I haven't had watercress before. Maybe it, maybe I'm underestimating it. Then again, I also am not really much of a pickle person. Okay, pretend that was a little bit better. To me, it's Vyas was because the Outbreak is an event thing. I do know it was an event thing. I wasn't sure which was which. If Warren Guru or Pasimian was exclusive to this game, though. So, meh. But so I may as well uh, make use of the situation. So yeah, we do get Pasimian drops. I wonder I wonder how that works with the TM crafting. If it even affects it. Like, or like if the... Orin Guru and Pissimian are interchangeable in their crafting recipes. Or if they're just a TM that the game's just like, yeah, go fuck yourself, kid. Was that Baluza's noise I heard? Wait, do I have cl No, maybe that was Cloth. Anyway. Oh, wait, we increased our encounter power for fire. I didn't pay any attention to that. Are there any, are there any fire types that spawn? There's probably like fucking Charcadet. They spawn everywhere. Anyway. Let's go uh, make some friends with some Pasimian. And by that I mean beat him up, because I already caught one. Right? Yeah, it's gonna be like, ooh, look, you caught one. Oh, Larvestas, okay. Forgot about those. That was good XP for Veluza. Okay, that happens too, I guess. Didn't actually think they were going to attack me for some reason. That was a crit? Okay. Yeah, I probably uh, should use a mint on Veluza. There's a couple of them. Jenny Pissimian is something. I go that the version of exclusive materials just don't make. T oh, okay, that would make sense too. If lose it. You, you look like you want to murder things, and then you just like kind of don't. Just probably pull out fucking Bombardier or some shit. Oh yeah, I was, probably want to switch out cloth in a moment or two. Simians. I will give them that. There's, a, there's at least a couple of them. Whee! Just, you know, just take your time. We don't have that many of these guys to beat up. It's only like a hundred more to go through. Well, how was your day? What you been up to? <laughs> Is 
defense. The loser's just gonna be doing the loser things. Go, 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 beat him up! Ah, yes, the old... The old shadow... ...of doom. <laughs> why is the GTA... Yeah, it is kind of a dumb thing that it is on, only on mobile. I don't know, I don't know why they did that. And you can only get, like, gift Pokemon from, from mobile as well. So annoying to switch. Yeah, well, it's also the fact that you can't be logged in to both at the same time, which just does not help at all. Ah, 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 ah. Loser! Psst. We're just gonna try. Well, no, Plux 120. You know, it's just a bit more. Could be better than using, like, Aqua Cutter. Pluck him again. Oops. Not, well, no, not what I meant. I meant to just look at what the move was. Uh, hi, I hope you're all doing well. Nice talking to you. What'd you get? Ah, oh, Sega Cut, perfect! Up oh, so much for pluck. <laughs> Don't need that anymore. Yeah, having having a water and a psychic type is nice. Granted, we also did recently get for a giraffe, so the psychic got covered, but the water is still. We've gone quite a while without water Pokemon. Okay. Yeah, for funsies here, I can't even check. How many more? Just, it's not a bragging thing. Okay, Blue's it. No, just go over there. I gotta go grab my phone for a sec, buddy. Play a game called How Many Maridons Do I Have in Home? It's not that many. I have a couple Zacian and Zambazenta, uh, though, because that's been a thing in Pokemon Go. And yes, couple is a very underestimate. Very, very big underestimate. Okay, look at this. We do have the heightened fire type spawns as well. I don't know if I really need my Vesta stuff that much right now, but. Can you beat up something? That's it. You. Alright, we're just gonna... Where are, wait, why are you guys all running over here? Okay, let's see. They sort by Pokedex number. Let's go to the bottom. Wait for everything to load. I have... Okay, actually I have five Maridons. I only have three Karidons though. Although I think one of the Karaidons, at least, I know is like a cheated one, so I don't even know if I'd be able to transfer it. Because yeah, sometimes you get ones that are cheated, unfortunately. I'm sure I have a shitload of Pokemon that are cheated. Oh yeah, and just to point out what I meant about the me having a couple Zacian and Zamazentas. So, let's see. Uh, so these are my Zamazentas. Oh yeah, here's my Zacians. <laughs> Just a couple. So if you ask them to give me a... Yeah, no, honestly, the cheated Pokemon are so much. Uh, so, okay, so most of these aren't mine from Pokemon Go, but because they're in raids in Pokemon Go, they become super easy to trade for. Um... I basically I've done so much like trading up, for lack of a better way to put it. Uh, where like I had a bunch of like less interesting legendaries from things that I traded up by trading like like pseudos for. Yeah, no, literally I fucking like game the economy. Um 
it's, yeah. This is what I do on bathroom breaks. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I have, I have, I have a couple problems. But joke's on you, I have, like, three-fourths of a shiny living dex going <laughs> from just trades. So there, so there's that. Oh boy. You go, Valusa. Take him out. Get him. Yeah, the one mile downside to home. Is it, you're not allowed to fucking trade, uh, mythicals. So, like, I have, like, every Pokemon in the decks in home, except for, I think, like, 11, and they're all mythicals. Um, a few of them I can trade from, like, Legends Arceus briefly just to get them registered. But, like, there's, like, no way to get, like, fucking Volcanion and shit. Um... I mean, hopefully with ZA, they, they, they bring back some of them. And I mean, hey, at least Meloetta is now a little uh, more accessible. But, you know, that's a bigger one. Okay, no, no, no. Blooza, Blooza, get him! <laughs> yeah. And I, and I also, I, I do transfer up, like, shiny Pokemon from, like, Pokemon Go Community Days. I get extra. Stuff like that. Although, yeah, I haven't really transferred any of them to actual games. They're just sitting in home. I think it said these are about to empty out. Make sure you get all the mythicals from the 3DS and DS games before I stop playing the recent games. So yeah, no, I probably do have at least most of them. I mean, some of them I don't have. I mean, oh, some of the older ones I probably don't have legitimately. I think I have most of the 3DS ones. I don't have access to, like, Zara Aura or Zarude. Um, I think there's some Gen 7 ones I don't have. I think I have at least most of the Gen 6 ones, but... I haven't actually transferred them up, and I kind of want to keep them in the original games. I don't know. I don't know how easy it is to, at this point, to, like, action replay a 3DS. Like, I could just cheat everything in except for fucking Zarud. At that point, like, I, I can't even feel guilty. It's not like, oh, you're, you're missing out, or, you, you know, you're not doing it legit. It's like, oh, I can't do it legit. Fuck you, Nintendo. I mean, yeah. It's not a big deal, but I'm just a grumpy old fart. I'm not seeing too many more Passimian. I saw a pirate copy of Ultra Sun Ultra Mario 3DS for zero or not! Hey, that's one way to do it. Okay, these are the last few. Guy. I'm all of them. I could technically go for all the Larva stuff if I really wanted to. Okay, I think there was another one actually, like right over here. Yeah. Let's go take a look. They have been over here. And what was this one again? Who was this? Oh yeah, it was, uh, not Gorgonek, really. It was the middle one. Oh wait, is that a Blaze Breed Taurus? We actually don't have that. And these are Orange Guru from the looks of it. Cool. Oh! We haven't had this yet. Cool! That's actually pretty sick looking. Um... So this is gonna be Fighting Fire. I guess we're just Ice Fagging. 
just to not, you know, kill it. Oh! We take it? Oh. Oh. That's not good. Okay. <laughs> There's a 3DS homebrew app that can give you the mystery gift stuff, like the actual gift nuts. Oh yeah, yeah, I think I do know what you're talking about a little bit. Cause yeah, people have found ways to, to recreate that. Wait, I can just repeat all this, can't I? Which we definitely have. No, it was question marks. Wait, this might actually not count as a repeat Pokemon. Hey, just stay, just stay frozen. Thanks. Anyway, back to Great Balls. Taros just breathing down my neck. Do you and Bridget still have Pokemon Bank? Uh, I do. Bridget, I do not believe does. Yeah, at least I'm, I'm like 95% sure I do have it. Oh, okay. Taurus, Wild Bull Pokemon. When heated by fire energy, its horns can get hotter than 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit. Those gored by them will suffer both wounds and burns. I think they'll be disintegrated. I don't, I don't think they're going to be wounded. Or burned. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if you can. There's probably some way to, like, cheat it in, I would imagine. But... Yeah, I don't know. Uh... Wait. Mild bar burn. It, it, it worked better in my head. Okay, fuck off now. Go away. Shoo shoo. Okay, so there's another place for over there. I think there's all the orange Uh, let's do another picnic for psychic or normal. Item drops if we can. Yep, we got normal level two if we do a great fruit sandwich. Cool. Which is number 97. There is, yeah, it's the Sword and Shield one. You and everyone else wondering what it is. Okay, this actually requires a little effort here. Just some big ass fucking apple slices. Okay, I get the feeling this is not ending well. Something's falling off, isn't it? Uh oh. Okay. No, 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 this is the slipperiest fucking sandwich! <laughs> I, I have no depth perception on where the fucking bread goes! I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Uh oh. Uh oh. Normal one. Do I just take that? I think I'll just take. Uh, should I just? Yeah, I'll, I'll just take it. Screw it. One's good enough. Better than zero. These guys are running around. Where the fuck they go? Wow, that's there's a big monkey and a tiny monkey. Yeah, you're normal psychic. Let me try psycho cutter or psycho cut, not psycho cutter. Um. 
I'm not sure I crit my kill here. Yeah, Shiny Orn Guru is like pink. Okay, well that was yeah, that was a risk. God tier gamer. Yeah, maybe having the what? Oh, the guy on your team who's going for crits isn't exactly the play for this. Yolo. We ballin'. Hey. Oranguru, the sage Pokemon. People used to mistake Oranguru for a human when they saw it when they saw it issue command after command to the other Pokemon of the forest. Ah, so it's just really annoying. It's just like, you fucking do this, I'll do this! Okay, anyway, we got Organ Goo Goo. <laughs> People are like, ah, oh, yeah, that's clearly a human. Is that a shiny? That is a shiny. I thought that was, I thought this might have had... I think it is. Is it? Am I crazy? Or is that just the lighting? Oh, it's just the lighting. I'm crazy. Okay, never mind. False alarm. The fucking... The shadows. It's the... Okay. Pretend... I, I, nothing. It didn't, it didn't happen. You can't say I didn't make a mistake. Nope. I never make mistakes. Maybe I'm just really... Eager for shiny rock slide. Yeah, I think that's better than rock blast. Hopefully. It's just more consistent. Yeah, okay, the lighting here kind of makes him look a little pinker. Okay, well, that, that one's on me, I guess. Um. Well, anyway. Yeah, don't, don't, Veluza, don't mistake this for a human just because they're bossing all the other Pokemon around. Oh, I do also definitely need another Giraffe Rig. Yes, yeah, so this ends up being a lot of levels. Night time made all the Ghastlies in the Outbreak look shiny. I get what you mean with that, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've had that happen to me a little bit. The lighting is, has tricked me a couple times. Which is why I never get sh excited for a shiny. Ever. Because it could just be the lighting. Where are you? That guy's zooming. You're acting like a monkey or something. Oh, no, okay. Well, uh, you know what? I did say I needed to catch it. So we may as well uh, use the opportunity. Nice psycho crit. Is that a crit? Yeah. This I can repeat ball. <laughs> Gotta find the very occasional use for people. I actually have 30 quick balls. That's more than I thought I did. That's that for just the living decks. Uh, ah, yes. I know it's in its tail, not its butt, but we're calling it brain, butt brain. 
I guess I could call it brain butt as well. Hi, welcome to Flipping Words. Okay, now, now just, just give me one of those Orangurus that's nice and pink. Or don't, I don't really care that much. <laughs> Yeah, I think there are more. There's a couple more of these guys' outbreaks in the map that I can technically go to. I don't know if it's really worth the energy. I'm not that desperate for shinies of these. You're not fighting. Yeah, no, it it takes effort. Wait, what did you get? Oh. I might actually stick with Aqua Cutter for the high crit rate. I think that's the right call. Yeah. Okay, I should probably also do a couple. Uh, look, Zamazenta, yeah, is at least a decent option. To, it makes it a little easier to get better things. Okay, you can get switched in. Do that. Yeah, Papa Berry. Oh, it's more on Oh, yeah, Blood Moon or Saluna is equally as hard to get. Yeah, no, it's it's pretty... It's pretty rough. Uh, I would say try to go for a Namorous and then trade a Namorous for, like, a Shiny Legendary. I'm trying to think what the best way to get to a Namorous would be. Yeah, a lot of times it has to just be... Good shinies usually is the best bet. I think if the loser's already higher level than for a giraffe is. Hell, it's higher than the Dunsparce is. I think that was poor flat favorite. Trying to avoid that. I'm gonna quickly put my controller back. Controller? Oh. Dingus idiot head. Doesn't know the difference between a phone and a controller. <sighs> yeah, I think you know, we've been doing this for an hour. <laughs> Probably I'll want to move on after this. Because we also have tomorrow and Sunday where these guys will be spawning, so... But I really want to keep looking. Not like a hard thing, or keep getting them. Not really a hard thing to do. What's going on around here? Looking for it. I wonder how many freaking Rangula things we've gotten. If Luz is kind of going for the wrong, wrong guys. Actually, you could beat up me out. I have a normal thing up. Just... Chancy spawn. Those do seem pretty uncommon. Hmm. 
The loser's been doing their job. They haven't been getting obliterated. Hard to commentate when all you can say is, okay, so we're beating up another Orin Guru. Okay, so here's another Orin Guru we're gonna beat up. Okay, so right here's an Orin Guru, we're gonna beat it up. So anyway, now that we've gotten over left. that up too. Lose it? There you go. I'm guessing this is kind of the last bunch of them. Been a bit slower than I feel like than the Passimians, but that's okay. Hey, at least we got a bunch of fur from these guys for not TMs. And hey, we got them in the decks. So, you know, whenever we actually find Orin Guru in the wild, I'll be like, wow, I don't need that anymore. Gives a shocking amount of XP, it feels like. <sighs> yeah, I give up for I don't blame ya. Okay, yeah, that's the last bunch of them. I think we will opt to move on in the game and not go check out the other bit of them. Yeah, we've been at this for 15 minutes on the Orange Guru. Give or take. I like how we had a Veluza just to basically immediately put it away. I could trade Karadon for one, but I want to... No, I feel, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, the, the real trick, right, is to just get a copy of Violet from, like, a public library and just speed run through it and get it and then trade it through home. That's how I, that's how I got Zacian in, uh... Shield. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, yeah, Zacian and Shield. Was it worth it? No. No, not at all. That was a stubborn little boy. Did I talk to you ever, actually? Oh, we got more than Oh, yeah, so we, we just never talked to you. So we got fried filet, potato sandwich, mayonnaise, ketchup. Been with the French, we lots of green, blah, blah, blah. You can whip some pretty wild sandwiches. Getting even a little sleepy deepy in there. Cool. And I may as well say hi to the Applin. Like, why wouldn't I? I'd be pretty evil to not say hi to Applin. And give it a nice little photo sesh. Okay, I gotta back up a little bit. No, that's fine, Tauros. I didn't want to take a photo of the Applin anyway. Dick. <laughs> anyway. Hi again, Applin. Try that one more time, now that we're not interrupted. 
put on too far. Hang on. Be when the camera doesn't have a zoom feature for some reason. Anyway, okay. I do have to kind of check out this area a little bit. I think I might really quickly, out of curiosity, check that one... Um... Just do a quick switcher. Right up there. And then we'll actually play the video game. Do anybody that needs... Just you, for the most part. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, we'll check this one one little raid. I found a rider thread of forcing about forcing the the shiny spawning of a certain paradox, I'll let you know it. Okay, good luck. Yeah, I guess shiny hunting for stuff could also work to get a Maride on. Worst case in it did, did I really never see this item here? Okay. I really don't care. Um, okay. Let me take a quick peek at the map. I have a general idea of the route I want to take. We will confirm it after I do a save. Let me take one more peek at the map, actually. I'm curious about what the outbreaks was. And if it doesn't, then Shiny Flutter Yeah, Shiny Flutter Main. Yeah, I've seen a lot of those in, in home. So where were the other? So yeah, there's just the terror raids. Doodle. Okay, okay. Actually, now that I, I've seen the Pokemon, it tells me. So that's Oranguru. Oh yeah, that's Oranguru as well. I think Pissimian would be the more valuable one since it's just not like it's not in this game. And there's just a Gyarados one or like regular ass outbreak over here. Okay. So I think the play here is I'm gonna hold off on the cave for the moment. And we're gonna go around. I go in here. I might take a look at this specific little island. We've already looked over here. I'm not going to go this way, I don't think, yet. I could just save all the islands. That's probably the better call. Take a look around here, then come back this way. Maybe go up, like, the river in here. And then... And here, and then probably come back around through here. Actually, not very far, it looks like, to the next gym. Unless there's some... Inexplicable, ro inexplicable roadblock. Yeah, we haven't actually looked that thoroughly on this route, so I'll take a peek. See here. Yeah, yeah we have for giraffe in the lead. Okay. Yeah, we actually have to take a look around here. Funky. I don't know if we're gonna find anything that interesting. A few items though. Oh shit, I am thinking about Shiny Fluttermane. If I remember correctly, the best I was really getting was like Zacian Zamazenta. I don't think I was ever getting like Enamorous out of it. Which, if you can't get Enamorous out of it, you're probably not going to get Crider Mar Addon out of it. But Shiny Flutterman's probably at least a decent point in theory to start for a trade up. So. Grant, it's been a while since I've tried to trade a Shiny Flutterman, so. Could have either gone up in value or down in value in the fucking Pokemon home stock market. We, were already, we did look on that side previously, we just didn't look through it. Too much. Okay. A lot of Tauros these days. Wait, I just realized the Blaze Tauros might have been spawning more because I, I had the fire thing up from the item boost for Pissimian, funny enough. I think I just kind of accidentally... <laughs> Found that. Uh, to cast a lake, beware of str oh. Strong Pokemon. Okay. Well, well, we'll see. We'll see how strong it is. If it's too much, we can always go to that other uh, desert for the time being. Or, I guess, unless it wants us just to go through the cave. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Because yeah, there was the one cave we'd previously found. It had like level 40s in it.
Just checking for items. Okay. You can keep going. We shall see if the spawn method. Hey, go for it. Good luck getting the green ghost. Piggy berry. Ooh, wiki berry. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah! Okay, you just ran into me on accident. You know what? Get twin beamed, bitch. Okay, well I got I got breaking swiped. Okay, get single beamed, bitch. If there's any, we do our old do dodge and weave technique, but okay, Hariyama. Oh, what high level? What, what high level? What? We do already have one of these from the. De okay, so 55 is a little high. Um. That not really filling me with confidence. There's a chance we end up taking the, uh... Oh yeah, we were already down there. Chance we end up taking the cave path. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I could beat them up. But I will take it as a warning. Well, that's such a tiny meow. A threat, even. Hello, Steeplum. Any tree dwellers? Nope. Ah, oh, it's making all the normal flutter main despawn like it said. No shiny yet, though. Well, hey. Fingers crossed. Yep, Papa Berry. Is it at least hurry up? I always spawn here. Doesn't seem like it. Vicky Berry. Yeah, I was saying, I might actually be talking about shiny Pokemon more so, like, in the lake. Uh, we'll see. The gloves. You take them. The key. The Vivi. Okay, Dunsparce in the middle of a bunch of Tauros. Uh... Okay, they're only mildly charging at me, trying to murder me. Correct? Correct. Get an eye out for anything of interest. Okay, yeah, so how does this... Oh yeah, okay, we'll take a look. Oh, Azumarill's finally is gonna hopefully show up. I've been, I've been surprised we haven't found one yet. Given, uh, Evolve at 18. Oh, there's one of the, uh, things. <laughs> Whoa, goodbye. The fuck? Down the back? Is that on the blue? Okay. 
not expecting this. We could try a quick ball given how many we have. Fuck okay. it. This seems like a decent mod to try one on. This is why we're gonna catch it? No problem. Okay, I thought it was gonna break out, I'm gonna be honest. Yay, I have a room level up. The bite, the cave Pokemon. In rare cases, it molts and sheds its scales. Medicine containing its scales as an ingredient will make a weary body feel invigorated. Uh. Okay, we got Yabba Dabba. <laughs> that might gone that might have gone to the wrong box. Rex has been updated. Ooh, well, you know what? Sure, I'll get a save in there. Why not game? Yeah, bait. Cool. Another one for the living decks, baby. Oh, well, that makes up for the quick ball we just used. Oh, Heat Wave. Nice. We didn't just recently find that. I don't think we have anyone that can learn it. Is it ominous back? Stake driven on the ground? Will you pull up the stake? Of course. Why wouldn't I? What's the stake gonna do? Kill me? I mean, I don't know if I get stabbed by it, probably. Right, give me go. Uh... Well, you can't just show me an item down there and expect me to not care. Can I just like... Yeah. Come on, you got this. Eh. No. I just don't know if I can get back up. <laughs> okay, fine. Okay, cool. Pokeball, thanks, guys. Sorry, sorry for stopping, guys. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Ah! Okay. I lagged. You know, we got Thunderbolt for a reason on this thing. And so we can go pew pew and zap it. Oh, I don't know why this just I have to go back and get uh, the one Toxapex, I think. Because we pretty, I think it was level like 43 or something, and now we can get to level 45. Or catch, level, catch up to level 45. Um. Because it is kind of by Iono's town. I swear, I know the names of towns. I'm just uh, uh, not saying them. Nature. Let's have a battle out here, surrounded by all this soothing nature. Yes, the soothing rock. Abril the student. The Vippy. Cool. Yeah, so uh, it might be slightly above its level, just mildly. No biggie. Anyways. <laughs> nice knowing you. Well, that wasn't very soothing. Wah, wah. Did I get a goal? Yeah, hi, I did. I may not be able to hear footsteps in CSGO, but I can hear gimme goals going. Hur, hur, hur. That's a Royal Lake. Okay, so apparently there's strong Pokemon here. I think we. Oh. Okay, well those are some Pokemon on the to find list. What level are you? You know, on second thought, let's try the cave. Tropius. Yep, nope, nope. I, I I didn't really like that spot. I thought it was kind of ugly. Matter of fact, I actually don't even like lakes. I think they should be removed. <laughs> Just 
just remove them. I don't know, I just got the urge to beat that up. Should just just Vaporeon out and about, huh? Toxic Croak, and we saw a trophy. Interesting stuff there. Yeah, I could probably just bike a bit. Probably stop by the healing anyway. Or we could just heal at the uh, camp lady. Okay. My greed might be the downfall here. I had to know. Okay, you know what? Bridge Raft did what it needed to do. What did you just get? Did you just get copycat? You, you really need a better move other than double hit. Or is it just like double edge or some shit? Pulling up with like Giga Impact or some bullshit. <laughs> yeah, so I see what they meant by strong Pokemon over there. So I'm like, yeah, mental note to self. Uh, this area uh, later. Later. Yep, up, uh. Oh, wait, I'm talking to the apple and I meant to talk to the lady. <laughs> Woof to you, too, motherfucker. You know what? Stomp his ass! This might actually not do a killing blow. I'm so sorry for a giraffe. That one's on me. Uh, oopsies! <laughs> I have not checked Ponyard's moves in a while. Ponyard needs some better stuff too. It still has fucking Fury Cutter for crying out loud. Going north or south from here is rough. You gotta take a breather before you move on. South? Wouldn't south be... Wait, hang on. Okay, well, this would be north. Okay, well, we've been in south already. No, 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 go away, shoo. You know, I've always been a fan of caves myself. May as well fight this since we're gonna be over here anyway. I do not remember what type it turns into. Ghost. Uh, okay. We can make this work. Oh, great. I don't know if it mattered, but we take it. Um, what do we have PP on? Fuck okay, it, we stomp it. I'm sure we'll, this will kill, right? Okay, I was, took it a little risky there for one PP for some reason. Yeah, 2500 LP, nice. So what does the sign say then? Columnade Hollow, one of the 10 sites of Caldea. I wonder what's gonna be in here. This, this definitely looks interesting. Boss is dust, Meditite. Meditite, Larvitar, Salandit. Okay, stuff we already have. Sableye, Noibat! Ooh, Noibat's new, I think. Sickum boy. Okay. Oh wait, is, this thing's fragile as fuck, isn't it? Yeah. Oops. I done goofed. 
Just bombs. I was like, what did you just hit with a super effective move? I prefer the indoors. I prefer your mom. I prefer the indoors, but I came here to see this amazing sight. Juan, this, I don't know why I said that your mom coming. I'm so sorry, Juan. Okay, but your mom doesn't make me beat up cute little flaffies, you son of a bitch. Anyways. Laffy down. What an amazing shirt. I I just he just changed voices like absurdly drastically. Let's try for room for catching Noibet. So far that seems like the only new thing here. But we actually do need Noibet. Is it for Dragon Dance? Here's a TM that I know Noibat's needed for. Oh yeah, we try Poison Jab. Okay. You know, I was really like, yeah, let's try the other Noibat. I didn't want that one in particular, to be honest. I wanted this one. But I'm gonna try to hit with Thief. Jesus, that almost killed. No, you son of a bitch, you son of a bitch, you son of a- Oh, thank you. About to be like, no. What is squeaking at me? Let's go, Noibat was caught. Hog champ. Good job, G Hunkle. First fight I got to really get used in. Noibat, the sound wave Pokemon. This Pokemon emits ultrasonic waves from its large ears to search for fruit to eat. It mistakes Applin for its food. Uh-oh. Um. Mm. Anyway, you get to be named Audible. Not, not like the, the book company, or like the fucking- it, No, it's not- this isn't sponsored, it's like the word, because like it hears- Don't make this annoying! Oh wait. Oh my god, you go so fast, what the fuck? Holy shit, you're zooming! Okay, I just struggles with Gibble. Just right there, a slam bit, okay. Probably, should I heal it real quick? I should probably heal him. I'm just gonna auto heal it. I don't really like the auto healing, still. I feel weird about it, even though I shouldn't. Do we have a dark trail? You don't. I'm worried I'm just gonna kill this. Fuck. Everything is so fragile. Oh well. Odds are we'll find another one. I do really like the way this like place looks. It's a cool design. Yep, there's another one. Yeah. Well, I got the Dark Tree and not the Larvitar. This is obviously not a great matchup, but like... We need to not kill it. Okay, this Salandit is just lovingly looking at me, LMAO. Okay, let's be polite to me today, today Doug Trio. You son of a. Um, 
Just do an Ultra Ball. It is an evolved guy. Bro! Fuck you! No! My baby uncle! You son of a bitch! You'll regret the day that you did this to V Uncle! Anyway. Come on, just give him the ball. Fro! What? What was that, what was that noise you making? We, we try a dusk ball. Okay, I'm better off just throwing great balls, to be honest. Um, uh, just because I can buy them. We're gonna burn through a bunch of balls. If it catches right now, okay, it's like... This Aladdin is just still looking at me. It is very cute. Just looking up like, hello! This thing is, must have a really low fucking catch rate. Thank you. A lot of effort. Jet Punker head. Doug Trio, the mole Pokemon. It's three heads bob separately up and down to loosen the soil nearby, making it easier for it to burrow. Uh, hop up. Yeah. I've had Diglett in the decks for a long time, so it's cool to get Doug Trio. Okay, hi. I... <laughs> Why do you look so funny? the meditate okay uh let's go to the oh i can't really wow scam who are you anyway Fun fee. And Donathan Fanathan. The quick heal. Cool. Oh, I think the Applin gave a little words of encouragement. Not <laughs> I feel very encouraged. That's what it was going for. If it wasn't, well, it it, it encouraged me. Oh, wait. I don't want you in the lead. I don't really need Diglett stuff. Yeah, I mean, Noibat's like the primary thing I want here. Oh, actually, I think you can hit that one, because it's so tall. Rigorous, that is. Hit the air ones better. Which is nice, because we have problems with airborne guys sometimes. I don't really care what pizza. Iron! Oh, I beat up a Doug Trio. This is kind of a cool view, especially with the... You know what? The, the rain kind of actually adds. It adds drama. It adds suspense. Go back up. I didn't go down. What? But I gotta know what's up here. Bench bash. Makuhita. TM. Uh, I don't think we can get that item yet. Stealth Rock usually has a trap level of taking stone, they're only putting team, the traps. 
Give me my fucking text. I want my text, damn it. Um. Uh, the trap damage is opposing Pokemon that switch into battle. And we got some of these guys. Oh my god, we have so much Pacific and Aura Guru things. Jesus. Yeah, Outbreak's tied with, um... Level 2, or even level 1, uh... Gotta see how I'm getting that. Uh, tied with level 2 or even level 1. How is it raining in here? It's like just the spot, maybe there's a little hole in the ceiling. Um, yeah, those just, they just give so much. There you go. I was like, you're not really fighting my bad, are you? Okay, there's something interesting in here. Oh, there's that. Oh, there's like a hole above. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to, yeah, drop in for some of these. Oh, that's a good fight. May as well. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, like, yeah, some of the stuff in here we could always come back for down the road. We get more supplies, of I mean. But yeah, once you know where, like, you know, the Mons are, it's easy to, you know, keep going for them. I don't think there's anything down there. Although... Fuck it. Feels like it's leading me down here. Nope, nothing. Don't forget I can glide, yippee! Now we'll just do a general zoom. We could go back and do the auction still, technically, if we really wanted. I'm kinda curious if more Hariyama would spawn. Oh, they actually did! Not worth fighting him, I don't think. I don't need XP that badly, LMAO. Oh, yeah, so yeah, we found that the, the Blaze Breed Tauros, which means I'm pretty sure Aqua Breed is exclusive to Violet. Um. Where's that? Oh, I saw something there. Oops, never mind. I don't know if I really need Solanded stuff. I know there is like a TM or two that uses Solanded stuff. I just don't know if I actually really need it anytime soon. But it's like, hey, I may as well just grab it, we're here. There's a Gimme Ghoul up there. Honestly, the more I thought about it, the more I'm getting tempted to actually use a Gimme Ghoul. Um, like, it was never really in my intent to use one. But, but it's been calling out to me for some reason. So I honestly may catch... We, we do have two Gimme Ghouls, but I might catch a new one and name it Hunk something or other. It's probably not going to be that, uh... That useful until I have enough stuff to evolve it. What? So I'm like, hey, if I'm... going to go through all the effort to evolve it, maybe I should use it. You know, may as well just get, you know, a million teammates. Uh... Okay, I got one before the sandwich ran. It uh, became night, so normal one starts spawning. Hey, yeah, we take it. One's better than zero. Hell, my hand throws Pokeballs all on its own. Yeah, that might be like a muscle spasm. You should probably see a Dr. Aurora. Oh, I've never seen Satal. Also, the first time we're going to obliterate a Satal using Twin Beam. What's the point of calling it Twin Beam if I only ever use the first beam?
Probably should be using Veluza for trainer fights. Guess I picked the wrong opponent. Humph! Oh, broke ass kid. Why are you all hiding out here? Trying to avoid me murdering you viciously? I mean, what do you expect? I need supplies. Ooh, fighting terror shards. Wondering what I saw there. Yeah, I'm just doing my old dodging and weaving. And what do we find? Oh, look, Turkadet! You never go more than five minutes without finding a Turkadet in the wild. They're everywhere at all times, constantly. <laughs> like, no game, I'm not gonna use one. No matter how much you try to get me to, I know I have a million teammates, but that's not gonna be one of them. Sorry, I'm not sorry. Where does this put me? Oh, it's supposed to be right on the other side over here. Cool. Ditto. I was like, <gasps> Ditto! And I was like, oh no, we already have that. <laughs> also, Glamora looks like her Glimmet. Yeah. So strong, so rare. Whatever you say, per person. <laughs> you want to see my strong and rare Pokemon, don't you? Don't you? Okay, we get it. You have a dragon type. Shut up. <laughs> Mikkel, Michael. Michael. Oh, it's not even a dragon type. It's just a fucking Charcadet. Fortunately, that is super hard. You got two mods, almost 29. You're probably gonna get a. You're probably gonna outspeed. Cool, oh, cool. I honestly, for some reason, thought Remo Room and Varum were gonna be slow, but at least based off the overworld shit, they're fast as fuck. Spirit Tomb. That's a first. Love Sphere Tomb's noises. Uh, let's poison jab it. Oh, Ghost Resist Poison, doesn't it? You know, we got the poison. That's what I was going for, anyway. Ooh! Actually hurt a little. Iron Head might take it out here, then? Let's go! Oh, the crit to be safe! Good job, Baroom. Love you. Smoochie smoochie. So strong! So wonderful! I know. I'm just that amazing at everything I do all the time. Oh, I think we're actually gonna be able to get this game going. I mean... Like, I may as well... I may as well say fuck it and use... I mean, we already have two other steel types and... One other ghost type, eventually it'll be two others. I don't know why I'm, like, second-guessing if this is a good call. Um, I think I should be able to get this right. Right? Don't do this to me. And there we go. I was like, Dragon Pulse target is type with a shockwave generated by the user's gaping mouth. My best bet for trying to catch this thing. You probably. What do I want to fucking name this if I catch it? I'm not even sure how good this is until it evolves, to be honest. You know, on second thought, I don't think I want to catch this anymore because I can't catch it. I was not expecting this to be as high level as it is. Um... Use tackle and it missed. Or I, it avoided. We avoided it. You know, maybe we'll try the next one. Good job, King Honk! I'm so proud of you! You're such a good, good gamer. 
It was 60, I think? Yeah, nice. How many do we have? I feel like we have quite a few at this point. So, give me the one. Nine hundred and two. Yeah, we're pretty close. I think it's nine hundred ninety-nine to evolve it. I'm fairly certain. Okay. Maybe if we find one soon, we can do it. It feels weird to catch it and then just immediately evolve it, but you know, I could technically repurpose one of the ones we caught already, just rename it. But I don't know. We'll sit on it. But I'm, I'm honestly leaning toward it for the fuck of it. You know, why not have some fun with it? I don't know what you're doing for a giraffe. Okay, cool, nice. You did it, you did the, the stuff. Alright. We're, we're, we're head to get out. We're gonna head out now. We'll go left first, just kind of see what's over here before we cross the bridge. Back to seeing Cyclo's ass. Where? Yeah, we've been down that bit. The Gabite like, must have just like fallen out of the cave. <laughs> Protein. Anything of interest in here? Now that I'm seeing. Now we saw that Ditto can be here. We know that Ditto can be Meowth. I don't know if it could be anything else. I'd be kind of surprised if it couldn't be anything else. Although maybe it's all it could be on this specific route. Oh. Lopo. Is that a Barrascuta? Is it just a really big Aerocuda? I think that's a Barrascuta, but I think we do have one of those, actually. I'm gonna see what's going on here. I guess we technically could go around this way. Or go up that way. Okay. Funny enough, yeah, because we're taking the cave, it ends up being an even shorter, like, route to get to the next gym than initially it appeared. I don't think we might actually have time to to, do cool, to fight the gym leader here. I, I guess it depends how big the town is and what the, the task is, but I mean, if it works out, I may as well. I'm gonna go for this hidden item. Oh, there's a Zoomerill down there. We're just chilling at the bottom. What level are you? 29. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna hit you with not very effective crunch. You got decent enough bulk. Oh, they went through the bridge. We do have that shiny mirror. Task involves CBT. Ah, yes. Cool boy talk. We gotta talk about cool boy things like, like, uh, cars and football, American. That's what you meant, right? Get him with a netball, baby. Zoom real cute. I was gonna say, another one of my Hoenn favorites. Not, not from Hoenn. Nice try, me. It's where I would have first found a Zoomerill. But not from Hoenn. <laughs> the, the barrel. A Zoomerill, the Aqua Rabbit Pokemon. That makes sense. Its long ears are superb sensors. It can distinguish the movements of things in water and tell what they are. Aqua Rabbit. Huh. Ah uh, yes, it's the water bunny. 
Okay, it's just water bunny. It's not the water bunny. But shut up. Okay, a lot of guys here. Ah! Meryl! You just wanted to say hi? Alright, I'm gonna see if someone wants to try to see about Amara now. I'll try for an Amor. Yeah, that's, that's probably a good idea. Yeah, an Amorous is, is a, uh, a good possibility. Alright, I just really, I can go... Where am I right now? I can go up and around this way to this place. I might actually still be able to get a Gimbal Ghoul ban. Oh, no, nope, never mind. Nope, definitely can't go there. Turns out I'm stinky and stupid. Little dum-dum. Anyway, this way I do see another Gimme Ghoul. What do we got? We got to Porto Marinata and to Medali. And Medali, I keep forgetting, but that is where... Oh, random figure off. Medali is where... Um, I don't know what's it called. Um, you can change your Pokemon's Terra type. Oh, random ass Flamigo. Okay. I did see it on the minimap. Anything in the tree? No. Oh, oh, I was like, what is that? Fungus. We do already have Fungus, but we don't have a lot of Fungus supply. Is that my boss diff? It is. Or Mash Chiff. No, my boss diff. Oh, the wrong one. Hang on, we want the other one. Uh-oh. Uh... I like how it's question marks, even though... <laughs> laid down. Even though uh, we're helping Arvin with a Mabostiff, like, as if we wouldn't know what this is. Oh wait, shit, this is gonna hit with everyone. Oh, never mind, we're fine. Okay, either Mousehold is really weak or Mabostiff is really tanky. <laughs> I'm gonna assume it's that we're weak. Did we get intimidated? I don't think we did. <gasps> Tropius! That spawn's over here. Okay, we need more Great Balls soon. I guess we should beat the gym. That might be able to get us Ultra Balls, which would be very nice. Or Quick Balls or Dust Balls, any of those work, really. The boss dip. The boss dip, the boss Pokemon. Okay, real clever with that one. This Pokemon can store energy in its large Dewlap. The boss dip unleashes this energy all at once to blow away enemies. Okay, well, this kind of just became the natural name. I'm sure I've named something this before, let's be realistic, but we're naming a girl boss. Is Woof Woof. You're the girl and the boss. That's actually an interesting cover. We'll have to, like, at some point actually genuinely look at all of them. Okay, listen here, you little shit. Don't come near my family ever again! <laughs> I like it's trophy of guard. Wait, wait, no. I tried. Okay. I'm gonna try it. Yeah, we need a better normal move. I could probably do a bullet C too. We tanked that, wow. I mean I guess we're pretty high level in comparison. That did like nothing. Is a silly little guy. So I'd like it a lot more because a new snap. Perfect. Loaded dice coming in handy there. I think we just do a regular Great Ball. We have so many regular Pokeballs, but just at this point we have less of a need for them. Start catching Raid Mons or something. Oh. Tropius was caught.
Pretty soon we're gonna have to switch the team around a little more. Nasty plot is very good. That being said, I don't think I need it. Armor tail. Have we? Have we looked at what that ability does actually? Now that I think about it, Tropius, the fruit Pokemon. It lives in tropical jungles. This is not a jungle, nor is it really tropical. Uh, the bunch of fruit grow around its neck is delicious. The fruit grows twice a year. Uh, have you seen the Mossel of three instead of four? Is like, yeah, I didn't know. Wait. Oh, they, I don't. Th I thought it was a family of five. I'm pretty sure a family of three. Uh, I don't, that doesn't. I don't think that exists, does it? <laughs> I feel like I'm being being pranked here. Uh, uh, what do I want to name this? Airbus. And I'm pretty sure if they do, if they mess up with one of the children, it's called a mouse carriage, Nemanja. I stole that off Reddit. That's not my joke. <laughs> I can't claim credit for it. But it's a fucking good one, LMAO. Yeah, it's a ghost type then. Right, let's go fight. Oh, jump off. Wait, hold up. Ah, ah fuck you, it's Ditto! I got pranked. I got pranked. I was like, oh look, a Pokemon we don't have. No, it's Ditto. For a second I was like, wait, did it say we have the catch thing on that? Oh, the trainer's just Pokeball is floating. Alright, so I hit an item wing to trade real quick. I'm presuming that means Jump Luff is on this route. Well, that it can transform into multiple Pokemon. Do we already have Persian? Do you have a Persian? Oh yeah, I think we caught it as like an evolved Pokemon on one of the routes. Hi, welcome to Captain Fucking Obvious. I feel bad being up the Fungus. Okay, let's go fight the actual trainer. I just get so caught up on all the cool little things. Behold my illusions. Uh. That. It's a Shrewdle. I was like, what am I looking at over there? And there's also a Pseudo Widow. I will show you the illusion of the century. Do you have like a Zoroark or a Ditto or some shit? Selena. Drift Blim. Okay, we can do that. We can work with that. Level 29. Don't be a Zoroa. You son of a bitch, it's a Zoroa. I should have fucking known. I should. I was obvious, and I still fell for it! Okay. Fuck you, little meanie. We switch out for Driplim. Uh, we're gonna stick to Night Slash. Oh, we also gotta switch out Veluza, who's now my like highest level fucking Pokemon. That didn't take long. Bro, I should. It was telling me what fucking stats it had. Or like, what was super effective when I've never even fought a Drift Blim, you son of a bitch game! Oh. Maybe I'll just keep stockpiling? That's gonna swallow. We have a Sudowoodo? I don't know if we do. I wonder how much Pokemon like spawn and despawn when we're in an actual battle. Uh oh. It's gonna hurt, isn't it? The uncle! It's the whole buddy! Good job. Proud of you. No! No! You fucker!
You saw right through my illusions. Fuck you. Okay, I have to manually revive it first. I don't think I've ever actually bought a revive. Funny enough. Let's do some quick switching. You go in there. This works for now. Funny enough, yeah, you're a... No, we do not have one of these. Yeah, I caught, uh... Yeah, for Guru, I've caught up as well. I was like, shiny noise, what? And then I went, oh yeah, I have this guy out. Okay, we'll stick to Thieves, I guess. I think my head's sturdy, ooh. Did we just go for the catch here? Probably. I was like, what's that in the background? It's just Kamala, we already have that. Oh yeah, Cinderwood is pretty hard to catch now that I think about it. We could try a headbutt, honestly. Like, well, worst case, it faints it. So it fainted it. Yeah, that was that was the worst case. I didn't actually think it was going to faint it, I'm going to be honest, Chief. A lot of little guys around here. So yeah, Shiny Cinderwood and Bonsai are actually pretty nice. Hey. Crit's gonna kill, but I'm gonna go for it. Do -do. I think we actually need to beat up more Shrewdles, funny enough. We don't have a ton of, like, Shrewdle ink, I think it is. Oh. Normal Inkle Link over there. Cool, Sidwood has been caught! Just about to get a V-Hunkle level, too. Sidwood, the imitation Pokémon. Although it always pretends to be a tree, its composition appears more similar to rock than to vegetation. Hmm. Name is Real Tree. I'm getting real crazy with my nicknames these days. Oh fuck, I think I forgot to move my box spot over. Oh. Okay, hang on. Ten timer balls! Three star pieces. Mm, okay, you take it. At this point, it, it's not really particularly useful, but I'll take it. Um, looking at the routing here, I might go around here actually. Well, I really should take a quick BRB break. So, <laughs> the birds chirping. to save. I could just pull up the picnic, actually. Let's do that. Okay, I will be right back one second.
We got some dive balls. Whoa, what level are you? 35? Yeesh! That feels like it just came out of nowhere. I, I thought they'd be on the other side. I think they'd be on this side. You're pretty bulky. I feel like I can headbutt you. Where's that one going? going? Uh, this thing's gonna have a, probably a low catch rate. I don't know. Thief might kill. I'll take the risk. Woo! I think we ultra. No, we can netball. We can netball. Excuse me. I wonder if they spawn in the water, too. I wonder if they spawn more in the water than on land. And how rare they are. First try, let's fucking go. We got a Vaporeon. That's our first uh, fully evolved, not fully evolved, but our first Eevee evolution that's not Eevee. Or Eevee, it's our first Eevee evolution. There, that's a better way to put it. Dingus. Vaporeon, the bubble jet Pokemon. It lives close to water. Its long tail is rigid with a fin, which is often mistaken for a mermaid's. Ooh. Uh. Uh. Oh, uh, it's just the first thing that came to my mind. It's not that interesting, but Jet Blast. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> the smile. Aw. Guys, Umbreon, Espeon, Leafeon, Iceon, Sylveon are potentially not in the same spot in the decks. Or are unavailable until... I don't know why, like, Espeon and Umbreon would be unavailable. Or Sylveon. Like, I get why maybe Leafeon and Glaceon. Even though know, those are stone evolutions now. I don't know. Maybe I just miscounted the numbers. <laughs> I go with that because that makes more sense to me. Okay, so we're definitely not crossing the bridge over to Hellville. For a second, I thought that you looked very weird, but you... Oh my god, that's a ditto. I don't even think that's why. Something about it looked wrong to me. The shiny for, for Persian is like very hard to notice the difference. That's why I was like examining it just in case. There's a jump fluff, and this should actually be a real one since it's spawned with Hop Hip. Hi, Persian. Oh no, poor Hop Lip. Pop, hop Lip? Hop Lip got scared. Okay, let's try a Thief. I was like, ah! And then I was like, oh, that actually didn't do very much. Neither did that. Just the Hop Lip running around. Okay, we'll have to catch here. This whole line's very cute, not gonna lie. I really like them. They're silly. I did use funny, yeah, I mentioned the using Dunsparce and Girafrig in the one challenge run. I did use Jumpluff as well in that run. That was a little bit worse. Like, it was good as a utility mod, but it, it, it like, doesn't do any damage ever. So it's just not, it's not amazing. But anyway, Jumpluff, the con we put on, but it's cute, so that matters. Jumpluff travels on seasonal winds. Once its con spores run out, its journey ends, as it does its life! But why? Why? Okay, well, good. They stop it. Good thing it never runs out. You, fuck you, Dex. Uh. Let's say blown away. Eh, let's call it that. These aren't really like names anymore. They're just description, two word descriptions. I'm like, I, 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 I play Pokemon to avoid the remind the fact that my death is inevitable. I don't want to be reminded constantly my death is inevitable. Jeez. Did the Tropius snooze and just those wings out. Oh, we actually probably should be beating up Tropius, sorry. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, is that an Espeon? That's an Espeon. What the heck? 
Yeah, that's what you were leading with. I was not expecting the Eevee Illusions to just be vibing out here. Uh, let's try double hit. You're more special. Could I kill? Okay, it's close. No crit? Cool. I think we ultra ball, yeah. But as I said, I can't imagine these guys have high catch rates. We know where the Terra Jolteon is. Um, just for reference. Uh, but that's also, I think, level 50. We're not quite there in terms of catching. Yeah. Okay, I was right about the lower catch rate thing. Oh, that's a great floor. I'm gonna try one more. Hopefully I don't faint. Don't, don't, don't faint my baby family. Okay, phew. Cool. Let's be almost caught. Get a lot of Eevee for out of this. <laughs> Espeon, the sun Pokemon. The tip of its forked tail quivers when it is predicting its opponent's next move. Maybe eons. Where's this going? The decks? Maybe I was. Oh, I was just wrong because it just didn't show the numbers, like spots. Okay, let's bring you up. We're gonna have to heal you though. Okay, yeah, we're, we're just committing to auto healing, I feel like, at this point. I can always buy more healing if I really need to. Medallion's famous treasure eatery gets a one star review from me. Oh, damn. Out of one? Emilio. The fucking, yeah, like the neckbeard review man. He's like, it gets a one star from me. Thankfully, uh, Steel's neutral to us. So we can... Steel? What did I say? Fighting, I meant. Because we're Steel Poison. Poison resists fighting. Two hit? Yeah. Okay, well at least it's Scary Face the first turn and the second turn. <laughs> Even though it was faster than me in both both turns. Room seems semi-fast, but I don't think it's like fast-fast. So. That's all you had. Is that a Ditto or is that a regular Persian over there? Like the Dittos have like slightly differentness. Your battle skill is five star. Okay, well he just fucking hates whatever is going on then in Medali, Medali, Medali. Oh, no, you are just a Persian. Clearly, I just don't know what I'm doing. Eh. I guess that's nothing new. Why does this like river? Where does this river go? Oh wow, it goes quite a ways. Did you literally just take the river all the way to that town? I, I don't. I mean, I'm not gonna, but like, could you? I don't know what you're beating up, Staravia. Okay. Yeah, papa. Super potion. Another thing for Toxicroak. I wonder if it's on the other side. Okay, Scyther Weave. Beat up a million times. I think that was a deerling, unfortunately. I knew the third one was a deerling. Should have called it back sooner. If I didn't, tragedy struck. Yeah, like a link in the level. I guess I'm just beating a Persian now. Mago Berry. Oh, another Tandem Mouse. It is kind of cool how some of these like later areas, like the further into the game we get, the more just like, like the larger spread of spawn pools we find. I feel like that's something I generally check into Pokemon appreciate. Varieties, you know, the spice of life. Electricity, I mean, how terrain boost becomes electric terrain, it will boost its own defense stat. Okay, so yeah, an electric terrain boosts its defense stat. 
Poor Fungus looks so scared. I mean, Sudowoodo also looks very scared. Yeah, I don't, I don't think the electric terrain thing's gonna come in handy much. I guess you never know. That is a lot of basculin. Also, uh, maybe we wouldn't actually be able, I don't know if we'd be able to go up that. It's not like a waterfall, but it is a... plant. What? Yeah, TM over here. What's, what are we getting? Boys and girls and... and non-conformings. Oh, but... Oh! Breloom and... Saucebuck, so hold the phone! Okay, so this is, we have Sawsbuck with little pink flowers, but this is Sawsbuck with red old hair. Oh god, okay. We can Volt Switch, that'll do less, assuming we don't crit. If we crit it, unfortunately, I'll faint it though. Oh, poor dealing looks so startled. Okay, perfect. Honestly, the room's probably pretty decent here for a wall in it. No, that's bad. Oh, no, 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 That's gonna kill it, isn't it? Did it live? Oh, thank you. Okay, we can repeat ball this. This should just catch. There's no way this doesn't, right? Oh, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna just write down like giant red flowers. I don't know how else to really describe each sauce. I, I could do seasonally, but I'm not trying to immediately recognize the seasonings based off the name of it. Saucebuck, autumn form. There are many saucebuck enthusiasts. The darker the red of the foliage that hangs from its antlers, the more stylish the saucebuck is thought to be. Ooh. Um. I don't know where I got this from, but it's Ruffles. <laughs> it's just the name that came to my brain. Excuse me? Okay, we found an evil Shroomish. Not to be confused with a not evil Shroomish. Don't mind me, Breloom. It minded me. Okay. Yeah, we need it anyway, I'm pretty sure, right? Yep. Uh, we'll do Thunderbolt again. I think this might be... Actually, is it? It's probably about the same bulk as Saw's book. Oh, that's gonna be pushing it. Yeah, I think we just go for the catch, given we got the para. Come on, RNG, be on my side today. Man, it was already on my side, I got the para. Cool, nice. Breloom! Oh, cool. We're doing pretty damn good on the dex progress, I feel like. Breloom, the mushroom Pokemon. It scatters poisonous spores and throws powerful punches while its foe is hampered by inhaled spores. Um. It's not a punch buggy, it's punch buddy. <laughs> He's our friend. Why are they all on top of me? I mean, I benefit from... Groomish stuff, and there's just Tropius sleeping over there. You stinker! You little poopy head. Need, actually, like, need Tropius for anything, but I'll continue to beat it up, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't know what, like, shiny Tundemouse and Mouse would look like, funny enough. Just random thought. Also, still on that hunt for that shiny Psyduck. <laughs> If I ever see an outbreak for him, I'll definitely do him. What if Slagoth can appear here too? <laughs> I still don't know how to find Slagoth. 
that's slowly driving me to madness. Okay, I'm looking at the time. We probably won't have time for the gym today, but that's fine. You know, I got, I got, as my title says, I got a flu shot today. Not that it flu shots are that, uh, that's not a sauce black, that's a Persian. <laughs> uh, not that flu shots affect you that much, at least not in comparison to the COVID shots, which I'm getting my next Friday. Um, but, uh, you know, probably better to make sure I get decent sleep. I mean, that's just important in life in general, and I probably have been going to bed too late because I've been playing this game. So, sleep would, sleep would do me good as opposed to staying up until one o'clock in the morning. Actually, we don't, I was like, Toad School, we need that. I'm like, no, we don't. We have been up plenty of Toad School. We have tons of their stuff because we found them. We found an outbreak of them and I'm like, yeah, I'm just beating up all these and getting all their supplies. The Shiny slacking line, I have some like mild emotional attachment to, so to speak, from a kid. Because I bought a copy of Emerald used from GameStop, and the copy had a bunch of Chinese that were probably just cheated in, to be honest. Um, but yeah, one of them was Shiny slacking. So I just have like a soft spot in my heart just from a nostalgic perspective for the, the Shiny one. Just do eight potion on you. Hi, dearling. Oh god, I still need the micro SD card for my girlfriend. I just realized that. Hee hee hee, I'm kind of the main attraction in my cafe. You say that like... Also, the way, like, like, you make that sound weird. You make that sound like a sex thing. Hopefully, this thing can't do too much to me. We are at level 40 and it's level 29, so. I also have no idea how this guy evolves. It'd be really funny if it was a fucking, like, metal coat trade or some bullshit. I'd be like, okay, really, guys? It might just be a later level. It feels like it should be a later level, Mom. I mean, if we get to like 50 and it hasn't evolved, I might start looking into it, but... Because it could be like a item evolution or something, too. For all I know. Hey, don't steal my appeal! Don't steal my appeal! Uh, uh. She just turns it into a full-blown crap. It's like, oh, okay. Uh. Actually, no, you're good for this one. I don't think I actually need pseudo stuff that much, but, you know... May as well get some. Okay, I think we heal, and then we kind of go back around. What, Jigglypuff? I haven't seen one of these in a while. Let me take a look at the map real quick. Okay, so we kind of want to turn around this way and look in this bit here. There's also all this stuff. Also, Zoro and Electra. Electra. We haven't even seen Voltorb. Okay, let's 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 heal. Well, speak of the oh my god, Dedean too. I like how there's question marks on Dedean as if we haven't fought with one like 600 times. Also, I'm asleep. Maybe it'll electric move me. I don't think this can do like jack shit to me to be honest. Yep. Dig me pop. I think that's uh, where you're, you're staying HP wise. So, so yeah, it's kind of funny. Yeah, I guess we're starting to find a lot of uh, normal types <laughs> right by the normal gym, funny enough. Hey, let's 
go to Dean! Cool. For a hunkle, getting the level up, getting a new move. Uproar. No, thank you, but it was worth the shot. The Dean, the antenna Pokemon. It's small and its electricity generating organ is not fully developed, so it uses its tail to absorb electricity from people's homes and charge itself. You say it's not fully developed. It doesn't evolve. Does it ever fully develop? Uh. Ah, yes, it's What's Thief. No, the Pearl Line. Uh, 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 why am I- Oh, my uncle is evolving! The Persian was like, you know, cleaning itself like a cat. <laughs> You'll have to get photos of this in a sec, too. Oh, yeah, the uncle evolved into Rev of Room! River Broom, the multi style Pokemon. Thank you for the follow. Hello! It creates a gas out of a, it creates a gas out of poison and minerals from rocks. It then detonates the gas in its cylinders, now numbering eight to generate energy. Wait, it creates a gas out of poison and minerals from rocks. It detonates the gas in it That's interesting. I'll have to remember to uh, catch another room just for the living decks. Shift gear. That's the setup move, right? Yeah. Generally good, but I don't think we benefit from it that much. Uh, was there a default orb? An Eevee. I'll beat that up real quick. We benefit from that. Oh, uh, we also. Can we pick this bumper deer? We benefit from those two. Yeah, there's so many normal types around here. Uh, looking at the thing... Oh yeah, and then this kind of goes in there. Okay. At some point we'll have to explore, like, up to the ice bit. Do we want to... We probably should just do the stuff in this town first. Look around, then we can kind of explore, um... I'd say, like, anything in this general vicinity. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Vidali. I feel like I'm saying that wrong. <laughs> But, you know what, when did, when did saying things incorrectly ever stop me from talking? <laughs> okay. We need more, uh, great balls real quick. Not desperately, but... Would not hurt to have a few more. And let's, uh, let's get some River Room photos real quick. I was gonna say, I wonder if, um... You are zooming. Zorua disguises itself like Ditto in the wild. Okay, well, hang on. This is a little close for comfort. It's, yeah, it's like a card dog. What the frick? What's with that, like, cartoon dog? I'm trying to remember. Not dog. Like, car. Sorry. It's, like, in the same line as, like, Pajama Sam and Putt-Putt. It almost gives that vibe. Oh my god, it's- why are you so fucking fast? I get it, you're a car, but like, Jesus! Oh boy, anyway. What do you gotta say? This is Medali. Kinda sounds like Medley, right? Uh, a fitting name for a town with such a mix of people and things. I was about to be like, wait, does it? But I don't think I'm getting any pronunciation help out of that. Anyway, okay. Gotta get those Pokemon photos in. Watson! Look! Crepes! Creeps! Creeps! I never know how to fucking say them, because they're French! 
Even though the treasure eater, you hear the gym leader's a regular there. Okay, so we gotta mark some stuff down as we go. So the Seabreeze Cafe is in Medali. Medali. Uh. Medali. Cool. They're not spicy! You thought churros were spicy? This kid's dumb! Okay, we... <laughs> uh, what else we got? We got... What is this place called again? I'm gonna find it... This is churros... Um... Machuro... There it is. God, every time I see churros in this game, it makes me want... Churros in this game. <laughs> Not in this game, in real life! I mean, in the game. Guess I had the pig. <laughs> the, 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 the like exclamation of it's like wow with its ears is so funny. Me chilling with the pig by the churros. Um, this sounds like wide. <laughs> Wait, did I forget to eat? Long ago, the space at the bottom of these stairs was stage for plays and concerts. Now it's a torture chamber. Locked beyond the blackness is people screaming. Uh, can you do your- I am, uh, I don't have the online service, so I'm unable to, unfortunately, sorry. Oh, this is the gym. This town doesn't have a battle court, you know? I wonder where you battle the gym leader. Really? Oh, okay. What's the name of the gym leader again? The Medali Gym! Nope, not quite right. You tried, though. Ooh! Deadly Bird Presents. It's like a warehouse. Let's check this out! Yeah, this place, like I was gonna say, this place branches, yeah, no, a couple different places. Like here, here, there's this kind of, like, general area. This is the Great Crater. The way of Glaciato Mountain is rough. Be sure you're prepared if you're headed that out that way. If only I knew which one that was. It's one of these. I mean, I may as well just say hi to all the Lechonks. Because they're funny. I'm assuming this just says medallion. It'd be real funny if this deli bird thing I couldn't go in. Time for a good meal, at last! Before climbing Gla Glaciato Mountain, I'd like to visit the shopping area in Medali and fuel up with something to eat. Oranges? <laughs> Maybe that's what Cyclazar likes to eat? Have we done what we need to do first? Hello there, I'm a Pokemon League rep, and having some nice Pokemon battles? So far, you've defeated three trainers here in Area 3 of the West Province. Once you defeat five trainers, you'll get a lovely prize. Okay. I'll have to remember that. Uh, because what counts as Area 3? Pretty much everything in here, it looks like. We'll just have to do some, uh... Speaking. Okay, we can now fly here. I don't have to heal, it looks like, thankfully. It's like, who's Grian is this? Mmm, pancakes! So fucking true. Why is this game just here to make me hungry? And greedy and hungry. Look at that thing sniff and hunger. You need to heal you up your Pokemon? Of course! Okay, you say that like you're just like actively getting your Pokemon obliterated by something. That was not the implication. One singular normal terror shard. Usually we were finding three of them. Uh, I heard you could change your Pokemon's Terra type at the Treasure Eatery, but the chef turned me away the moment I asked about it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, most famous restaurant, the Treasure Eatery, is right here! We also have the secret dish for those of you currently taking on the gym test. I mean, okay. I, I, I can't wait to be like, oh yeah, you need a hundred shards. Whoa, this is a big old place. Hello, welcome to the Treasure Eater Eatery, now in regular mode. Regular oh, 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 okay, so this is just like normal food, gotcha, let's run. Time to be some run, do some run, we do down. One, two, three, four, five. I guess treasure. Eatery. Nope, can't spell. Do they have anything of interest? So we got mustard rice ball. Fuck, I'm actually getting hungry. God damn it, game. Sweet. Adzuki. 
probably saying this wrong because this is not a dish I am familiar with. Bean soup. Maybe I should start looking up all these. Oh, I don't know what has meat in it because I am a vegetarian. A homemade. Um, but I guess there's probably meat substitutes I can use anyway for a lot of them. Homemade um, umbashi. Okay, this is, yeah, I don't. Bitter melon stir fry. And then soba noodle soup. Anyway, okay. Uh, so we got 750. Um, 800. 500. These are actually pretty cheap. 950. 920. I'm assuming that doesn't mean there's. I'm assuming that means there's not anything that crazy good on any of these. Um, Encounter Power Rock one. Uh, Ketchup Power Ice. I was going to say, yeah, no, this is totally off topic, but. Yeah, it's cool that I actually got to uh, do those um, outbreaks. Not like much, but like it's cool to actually be able to participate to some extent in an event in this game. It's the first time we've gotten to do that. Electric level one. Humongo, okay. EXP point, normal level one. Item drop power, steel level one. We always take drop powders and encounter powers. Those are probably the two best, at least as of now. Incy fire. Uh, EXP ghost level one. The EXP stuff might come in handy at some point. Just depends. Uh, excuse me. Item drop ground one. Humongo ghost one. Counter power rock. Finally, Egg Power 1, Counter Power Fire Level 1, Raid Power Grass. Yeah, hopefully I can find use for like the Raid Power stuff a little bit as time goes on. Cool. A lot of people talk to. I hear it said that there is some kind of amazing gimmick in the Treasure Eatery. Huh? Secret menu item? Sorry, I don't know anything about that. Wink. This place has rave reviews. Thanks for the meal. Welcome. They'll take your order at the front. Oh, okay, cool. I can't go up that way. Open up wide, my wishes, little waddler! <laughs> Understandable. Well, I'll be, I don't think I've ever had grub this good. I heard rumors that you could change your Pokemon's Terra type here. Turns out the food's pretty good, too. Oh, wait, can I get up here? Am I being pranked? Eh. They, they didn't want to put dialogue on everyone up there, I guess. <laughs> okay. The only thing about terror types as of yet. Um, could be an after gym thing. Fuck, could be a post game thing for all I know. Okay, now it's fucking raining out. I heard you can change your Pokemon Terra type at the Treasure Eatery, but the Chef Ter Oh yeah, okay, nice. I talked to you already, I don't care. <laughs> you're just gonna leave your green on the rain? How about a sandwich? They're tempting even when you're full. That's how good they are. Food's just tempting. I just can't decide. Oh, gee, this is amazing. Out of this world, right? Meow, Thunsporus. Oh, look at the sleepy young goose. Wow, I'm talking to him over here. Sorry to wake you. I'm sorry to wake you. Oh, but he's happy to say hello. Maybe next time. We should have gone to the treasure eatery. Goddamn, these people in this town are all bad all the time about where they chose to eat. <laughs> it's like, what? It is funny. You can just walk up to all the Pokemon and say hi. I do love that. Yeah, real quick, actually, we should probably start walking around a little more with uh, Pommel. Still don't know if that's how you evolve it, but that's my basket up, and it already stopped raining. Weather is a fickle thing. Uh, do that. 
run with that other one. This is my favorite! Oh wait, we gotta mark up every which way is here. Even though it's in literally every fucking town. So I really, I mean, I really don't need to mark it all. I don't, you know. I probably really only need to mark off actual uh, unique things. I'm stopped, yum, yum. London, I'm so full. I don't know why the, the mom is talking like that. Hmm, I want one. Fletcher. Okay, this is also in like every store or town. Medali. I mean, it makes it easy to find it if I ever want it, so we can't complain too much. Okay, Canto Creeps. Canto Creeps. This is just ice cream again, isn't it? Yeah. My little green has gotten bigger recently. I wonder if it's about time to move to a bigger living space. Aww. They're still caring about the reading. This town is an important hub here in Paldea. Lots of people from other places come through, so naturally lots of restaurants have popped up. Yeah, there's lots of restaurants in every town. Is there a way into this fucking... Delibird thing? Or is this just like a fake store? Am I going crazy? Wasn't there a deli bird sign here? Or there is, but maybe it's not an actual... Maybe it's just not an actual store. Maybe it's just like an advertisement for the company. That's kind of... Cringe. No, that cringe. Cruel. Okay, so this is... Is this Seabree Cafe? Seafood Fresco. Uh -huh. This is not in as many towns. Mesagoza, Lavincia, and Medallia are the only ones that we've been through that have it. Assuming I didn't miss anything. Let's check this out! I heard there's an off-limits facility called the Zero Gate behind the gate up this that path. There's a big gate at the top of the path leading to the Great Center of Padilla. You can't get in. Oh. Oh, I see. It'd be like right here. Interesting. Maybe I'll just use LP. Seriously, so good. Okay, so this is just uh, one of those food supply places. This is Seabree Cafe's, phase, which, did I already mark that? I feel like I did, yeah. Probably was a site, there's probably two of them. I love it when that happens! When what happens? Okay, we already were over here. Is this just a second? Okay. How many Seabree Cafe's do you need in this town? Not even that big of a town! Hello there, youngin. Are you a student? The treasure hunts rolled around again then, eh? I picked up some coins while I was cleaning. Had a feeling they were yours, so here you go. Oh. Wanna give me gold. Lately, I found a coin or two lying around. Perhaps folks have, have more than they can hold on to. Oh. I mean, he must just give, like, give me gold coins on a regular basis. That looks like... Wait. Oh, leftovers. Uh, I bought two of those already, though. <laughs> now look... Those look like a real treat. And we're back to sugar nice ago. You're the ke shish kebab. Right. I like how they have like two items only. It's like so anticlimactic. Okay, yeah, so we, we take the guy who gives gimme gold coins. And her to have more. Yeah, I, I would like to... I'm, I really am considering using one on the team. Assuming I find... a gimme ghoul that I can catch. Because, like, you know... I have the space. Uh, this is also a food supply store. I think that's, like, sure cans. This boss is so tough to beat! Oh, you're playing on the Switch. 
Big boss. We are currently open to customers with or without reservations. What is this? Ah, uh, gastronomy and el family. I don't think this is French. I think this is Italian. And I'm still butchering it. No, that actually might be French. No, that's gotta be French. Look at the dishes on there. Feels so good. Go for broke grill. Okay. What'd you buy? It's a secret. Our spicy dishes are the best. Come on in. I like how they're just all standing out here advertising. Great Palace Garden. Yeah, that we've only seen, I think, once or twice. Yep, that was only in Cascarafa right now, so. Love to love to get a little something else. Like, real quick. The shonk. This is shonk is just watching her play the game. Not even doesn't even get to see what's happening in the game. That was bomb out. Yeah. I hear fancy restaurants have something called a dress code. I wonder what kind of code that is. An illegal one. No. What? <laughs> I want to feed my Pokemon something like, tasty. I need to save up my money. Aww. Yeah, it's just the same restaurant again. Oh, I think this one we haven't seen yet. Sushi High Roller. Where is that again? Yep, that was previously only in Lavincia. Cool. I mean, hey, the more places, the better. Every dish is a masterpiece. Okay, I kind of wish... I mean, I, I know that they're pretty distinct, each restaurant, but man, I kind of wish at times they fucking made it clear which uh, which restaurant was which by just having a name above it. We have the best food in all of Paldeo. Come, Paldeo, come on and give it a try. We've already been in here, boy. Yeah. And then that's the Seabreeze Cafe, or something, something. I think everyone was saying he wants to come eat in my restaurant. Seafood for us, never mind. Man, these people are fucking desperate. <laughs> Is the business in this town struggling or something? Oh, here's the third Seabreeze Cafe. Maybe it's because you have three Seabreeze Cafes all in the same spot. That's just about everything. Okay, nothing, nothing too exciting here outside of one new food thing. Uh, the Terra stuff, Terra, being able to change my Pokemon's Terra type is nice. It's just that we uh, can't really utilize that yet. Um, okay, so it's about 12. I don't, I think I'll hold off on going into the gym. Okay, real quick. I think what I'm gonna do is just check this little bit and this bit. I guess we could kind of check around. Well, it'll be up to here, I think. We haven't. I've not been like over in this bit, but that would require us to go up this path, which I think we'll do. Maybe we'll save that bit for tomorrow. I guess it depends how long this takes us. I bet you Palmo fell asleep. Yeah. yeah nothing not too crazy here. And yeah, I think tomorrow, pretty early on, we could probably take on the gym. And that'll give us the chance to then start working a little bit more toward um, the... What's in my ball? Uh, oh yeah, that's what we can do. This stuff too, I guess. Um, but I think, yeah, I think what we do is once we finish this little area in here, um, I kind of want to explore this area then to do the, um, the next guy there. <laughs> God, English is my first language. Um, it's just about a 12, so the oh, Voltorb, Chinese Voltorb would be pretty sick. We have the, uh, Hisuian one. Um, you know, Blue Voltorb's nice. I am just so all over the place right now for some reason. Okay, that's probably the best we're doing. 
Can we get more great balls? I'm tempted to just, you know, fuck it, let's just use regular Pokeball. Screw it. We have so many. Feels like I may as well. Hi, Jigglypuff! Hey, and I guess we could also do a TM check before we call it good if we really want to. We'll see. Do Voltorb Sparks? We did need Voltorb Sparks for a little bit, I believe. Voltorb, the ball Pokemon. It rolls to move. If the ground is uneven, even, a sudden jolt from hitting a bump can cause it to explode! Boom boy. <laughs> Nailed it. I guess it's not gendered, so it'd be boom them. Okay, new mass outbreaks just started. Jigglypuff just did a cutesy! Oh, I Drifloom. We need Drifloom, I think. Do we? I think we do. This Drifloom's just in the town. Try Metal Claw. Probably can take one. Two without a crit even. Ah, oh, well, now I can't. Son of a bitch. Um. Girl, let's just throw a great ball. We might need some luck. If it, like, raises its defense, you know, I'm just gonna throw regular balls. Screw it. If we're gonna waste a bunch of balls trying to catch this. Look at all the Drifloon watching! Well, that wasn't on my list. Good to know, it can do that. I do like how the Pokemon kind of just wander in the town here. Kind of cute. Okay, well. Might have to quick ball drift flip. I think we have like 25, 30 of those. Curiosity, um, oh, Orange Guru is up there. Is it? I don't know if I can get to the Tropius one. Simeon right there, Mastiff. I don't know if, can I get to this Orange Guru? Yeah, I should be able to. Simeon, Lashonk again. Another Orange, a lot of Orange Gurus. I mean, I guess that's kind of the event. Oh, and there's a Young Juice as well. Um. Alright, I'm gonna take it. Okay, well, we'll figure it out. Okay, the rain stopping. Kind of nice. Oh! What are you doing, Duck Spoon? Sorry, I want the Voltorb more than anything. Oh. Did the Voltorb. Wait, wait, wait. Did the Voltorb blow up? Yeah, damn, I was just a dick for nothing then. I haven't been bonking enough. That's a deal lane! I was like, what am I looking at? Sorry, dealing, I don't want to wake you. Exactly, I don't think I woke it. I need Shroomish to Ursa Ring. Oh. It's like seeing I will have terrain boost psychic terrain, or if the psychic terrain will boost Spadef. Good enough. Yeah, no, no like Grafi eyes yet. Just seeing the shooter reminded me of that. Thirty-five. Okay. Oh, I'm not gonna catch it off guard, am I? Rip. We could probably spark it, right? Uh, 
let's do a Metal Claw. Hello! Okay, attack. Cool. Oh, uh, one more. Just pray we don't crit. Why did we outspeed? Is it a speed tie? No, don't cry, Young Mouse! Okay, we should switch. I don't want my poor baby getting hurt! I don't want it to cry! It's such a sad message every time, it makes me feel so bad! Yes, just make your face scary, don't don't be mean. Don't hurt my little hunk mousin. Little stinky head. That's where we got leftovers on ya. Again. I probably should do the gym leader fight tomorrow first thing before I go out and look at new stuff because yeah if we can find Pokemon I want to catch hopefully have Ultra Balls or some other balls to work with at least. Okay, in the last gym we literally unlocked nothing but luxury balls. I was like oh thanks guys. Very helpful. And they're $3,000 <laughs> for some reason. I mean, it makes sense because they're luxurious, but still. <laughs> Excuse me. Ursa Ring, the hibernator Pokemon. That was a burp. He usually wears a hardened expression, but when it's licking up honey, which it loves, the joy it feels will call it to break into a wide grin. Aww. Round upside D. Because <laughs> I couldn't fit it anymore in. This is be frown upside down. That did not work. That's a terrible name. Uh oh, wait. No, you don't want to find me, buddy. You don't want to find me. The mushrooms here. Can I pick these up? These, these just look like pick up a ball almost. Piggy berry. You are struggling to keep up. I guess it's nothing new. We'll have to do some more like Pokemon hunting a little bit too soon by the um outside of Medallia. Because yeah, it's something about Zoroa and Electrode, I believe. We've not seen. I'm pretty sure Swalot and Gulpin are in this game. That's something we haven't seen that you would have expected by now, I feel like. Not like a big deal, just observation. EXP candy EX. Dwarf. Oh, you're... We're fine. Uh, yeah, I'll just take it. Fuck it. It's the easiest way. Pineco? Those just spawn regularly? That's the way. That's Zora. What the fuck? Why is it a Pineco? What? Metal Claw? That's the best we're gonna get, I think. I don't know what this thing's catch rate is. I feel like it's not great. It is cool though how, yeah, like Ditto and Zoro were transformed into different mods. I really do like that. It's a cool detail. Annoying to find them, but a cool detail. So what happens if one of them's shiny? Like, do you not know until it transforms? Or does it show the transform shiny mod? 
Because both Shiny Ditto and like the Zoro and Zoro work a lot are both very are all very nice shinies. Yeah. That'd be cool to go for it. Zoroa, the tricky fox Pokemon. It changes into the forms of others to surprise them. Apparently, it often transforms into a silent child. Oh yeah, it does that in black and white. Um... Dot dot dot. It's silent. I think that's what I think the, the child does, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, yeah, the other in a uh, black and white. Okay, you just want to fight me, don't you? I got I just gotta get that out of there. Okay, never mind. You you don't you don't need to fight him. Zero Auto just went nah, fuck you. So I wonder if that means there's pine co's around here. Yeah, we've just not had a consistent way of getting the pine co stuff. Or pineco supplies, or just pineco in general. I don't know, part of me is like hoping just that like fortress will be common somewhere. I guess I don't really need Bonsai stuff that badly. Also, they just run the fuck away. The second they see a Pokemon, they're like, nope, what the f- Oh, that was, I think, the pseudo widow that hadn't, like, fully rendered in. Gotcha. I have no clue where Palmo is. Oh, a lot of Primate. Runchal is even. Just curious it was over there. Okay, so this is what we were, yeah, we were above here. Earlier. Or below here, I guess. Try to walk slow. For Pomo. Slow for Pomo. Charm. Okay, I'm just gonna have to. I don't know if it'll make it. Oh, I made it! Good job, you're so brave. Oh, you can see the Pokemon Center over there. Nah. It is kind of cool that, yeah, I just see, like, towns and stuff in the distance. I don't think we desperately need anything from Shroomish anymore. If we do, at least we know they spawn semi-commonly here. I drop down and that's fine. Hey. Anything else of interest around here? Other than the stardust. <laughs> That was like very easily distracting me. See yeah, another shiny. I don't know. What, or another Pokemon. I don't know what the shiny looks like. Would be a uh, like Wazar. I don't think I really know. Oh, yeah, the day they rolled over. Gonna go respond. Okay, we never went up this kind of route here. Gotta keep checking to make sure he's behind me. Which the longer this goes on, the the more I'm doubting that this is the evolution method. If it is 10,000 steps, I, I just don't know how many steps 10,000 is. Is that a dead out? I got pranked what? Once. Okay, be my guest. Be my guest. It's kind of funny to just have Persian kind of just sits down and chills. Uh, have you leveled it up? I have. Uh, I'm not gonna... Yeah, don't tell me what the evolution method is. I'm going to fucking brute force my way into getting it. Maybe. Until I eventually give up. Probably. 
Oh yeah, I can still beat this thing. I don't need to catch this. Still out. Oops. <laughs> Hyper potion. Yeah, papa. Super potion. Someone making weird barky noises at me. A great ball. Your lips are sealed. Cool, cool. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I figure, yeah, if I, if I run out of patience, I'll just go in myself. <laughs> Let's but hey, sometimes you gotta have misery with the brute force method. Uh, let's go this way before we fight the train. Actually, we've kind of been over here. I just want to make sure we got everything. Walk a little slower for Pomo. He's not super fast. For a second I thought that was a Tauros lying down. Nope, that's a log. Yeah, give me a guav, baby. Ah, there goes that Kamala. Nope, that was Deerling! I think it'd be a Deerling. Not another trainer over here. Little, like, very tiny ruin area. Wait, give me. Ooh, Hypno! That's new. No, oh, give me. Three potions. Oh! What the? Graveyard! Whoa, that came out of nowhere! Uh, like literally, it just like buried, it burrowed out of the ground. Okay, we're gonna switch. Is there anything that'd be really good to use against this, just to do a very small amount of damage? Not really, okay. Because funny enough, yeah, this is, uh... So I wanted to use on my team. I did get one a long time ago in a, a Terra battle, and I only saw one, I think, ever. Uh, but I opted to not use it because it didn't have a great Terra type. And at the time, I had a decent bit of Pokemon already. Uh, hold on, I catch this in. We can try a Premier Ball, fuck it. Um, but, yeah. I'll take, I'll take it. I'm pretty sure this is just a pure Ghost type. Oh, don't do that. Um, okay, let's see. It's so tiny. Given how big Houndstone is. Um. I guess we're going back and metal clawing a second time. <laughs> And then I just see the Hypno running around. Oh, that's probably a that's probably a roll. I should probably just ball it. I got like one or two more Premier Balls. I probably should just straight ball it. Never mind, I'm a goat. Okay, uh, I'll hold off on the name for this for now. I don't have anything that immediately came to mind, and given it's the end, of, pretty much the end of the stream, I will. Yeah, let myself think about it. But a graveyard, the ghost dog Pokemon is that a dog Pokemon that died in the wild without ever interacting with a human was reborn as this Pokemon. What are you doing here? Okay, let me just quickly move that. Speed ups, like scare there. What was going on there? <laughs> We can take a look at this in a second. It is still asleep. <laughs> what do we got? What kind of nature? What kind of everything else? I don't know. I would assume you're physical. 
Okay, pick up uh, plus or plus spadef minus speed. Given it doesn't look that fast, that doesn't seem terrible. It actually has pretty damn good moves. Um, yeah, crunch, player rough dig. I mean, no ghost moves that are good, but other than that, and that just reminded me, what is your what is your ability? Armor Tail, especially a tail covered in the Pokemon's head makes the opponent unable to use priority moves against the Pokemon or its allies. That's actually really good. I was checking everything else now. We got good old Runaway on the other guy. But yeah, that's actually... Oh, did the uh, Hypno despawn? Ooh, Dawnstone. It's actually really nice. Four, oh, give me ghoul. Ah, ah, ah. Four, oh, give me ghoul. Ah, random, random tropius. Hello. You just come to say hi? We're goofy. In the good kind of way. I thought that was another give me ghoul, not gonna lie. Nope. Bronzong. Level 33, okay. For a second I was like, is that looking a little green? But no, it's not. <laughs> not that I even needed a shiny room. I probably have, I think I have one or two of those already in Legends Arceus. Uh, I probably can Metal Claw this. You're pretty bulky. I don't know if I want to risk another one though. Army of dogs waiting to fight me. No, I'm not fighting it anymore. We'll just grab ball. That should be good enough. I was, just, I was like, heavy balls would work here. I don't actually think heavy balls would work here. I don't think. I think Bronzong is nowhere near as heavy as you'd expect. I think more desert in the background over there. The looks of it. What we got? How heavy is it? Not 412, never mind, it is pretty heavy. Bronzong, the Bronze Bell Pokemon. In ages past, this Pokemon was revered as a bringer of rain. It was found buried in the ground. I feel like I've somehow I've already named something Bong Bong, but I can't name it Bong Bong! Because bongs are for weed! Did I name it Dong Dong? There's no way it lets me do a dong dong, right? Oh, let's do dong dong. Okay, sure. Not bong bong, but dong dong's fine. Sure. What level are you? Huh? Four. Let's see if I can get another Pokedex reward. Might have? I have. Start pieces. We're at 230, I think, right? Damn. A single fastball. Oh, wow, you guys are so fucking generous. Not to be so kind with it. Oh, they like hide in the ground! Until you get close. Oh. You can see the little, like, candle sticking out. Is that a hypno? Can I see one? No, well, I see a hound. Yeah, I do. Okay, wait. What about the hound? Hound? Nope. That's not a hound. That's a hip. No. Um. Okay, let's try Spark. There's a second one if it fails. Or if I kill it. Well, good job, Hunk Mouse, and you beat that Hypno up. Not exactly what I wanted, but... Yeah, we need more Greaveyard Wax, I believe. I think, see, I think it's used for a couple TMs. Um... Fuck okay, it, we ball. Okay, that's better. Oh, that's perfect. 
Frankly, we can't ask for that to be more perfect. Cool, nice job, Hunk Mousen. It's almost already 12.30, Jeez Louise. What? I'm kind of fighting this with the Psychic type, which is not... Or I'm fighting the Psychic type with a Fighting type, which is not a good call, but... I don't think it quite has a uh, Psychic yet. <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking at the Breloom too. Yonko get the level up, let's go. Hypno, the Hypnosis Pokemon. When it locks eyes with, it, with an enemy, it will use a mix of Psy moves such as Hypnosis and Confusion. Um... I'm sure I can make... Some terrible name out of this. But we're doing Yellow Fellow. Not, we're not doing anything weird. I'm sure there's some weird shit somebody's done with it. But, uh. I meant the Breloom, to be honest, but that works too. <laughs> oh, that was the Zoroa. I thought it was a Breloom. Uh, I don't need anything new. Let me fight the trainer. I think there's just like one little bit left that I want to explore and it'll be good. So we'll continue to explore this area a bit tomorrow. Could you be what I'm here to clean up? Why would you clean me up? What did I do? Thomas? Oh, yeah, speaking of small lot. I can't imagine this can do much to me. I guess it could have a ground move. I really like Golden and Small. I can't believe we haven't seen any yet. Unless they're exclusive to, like, Violet. Oh, that was a Houndstone right there. <laughs> Look at the uh, graveyard. Look at it go. It's a tiny. Cute. You wiped the floor with me. Yeah, we'll have to take a look at, uh... Uh, yeah, like what TMs and shit I can learn. No, no you don't. Alright. So, real quick, map update. Uh, checked in here, checked in here. I wanted to just check this bit. Cause yeah, we'll save that for later. We'll save... Oh, it's a sauce black outbreak. We'll save, like, all this for tomorrow. We'll save up here for tomorrow. And then we'll probably go back toward that other desert with the intent to... Oh, Pikachu's here. Uh, do the Titan, which I'm guessing we might not have time for tomorrow, but we'll see. I like how I'm always trying to do this Pomo shit when I walk super slow. Um, like right before bed. Like, yeah, perfect timing for that, buddy. Actually hold off on this. Eh, it doesn't look that big. It's just this like path up here. Guav, love to see him. Your Pokemon is the cutest. Prove it! I think my red room's adorable. My Pokemon is obviously the cutest, but my friends just don't get it. Oh wait, maybe this person's actually based. Hang on, let's see. Coral the student, what do they got? How do your friends not see that Dean is cute? I think you need new friends. I think they're broken. Dean's adorable. I was kind of hoping she'd have something really funny. Like, like yeah, like fucking Grafii or some bullshit. Or a Spathora. Just because that would have been funny. I don't mind losing as long as I get to convey to you how cute Dedeen is. Agreed. Dedeen's adorable. Anyone who disagrees is uh, a little bit cray cray. Hee <laughs> hee. No, but really, they're insane. They should probably get medical help.
Anything in the tree that I can spot? No. Oh, huh. I almost stepped on the fungus. Mago, mago berry, my berry. Trying to make sure my boy's keeping up. Grassy seed and grassy terrain, it boosts its defense. Cool. The seeds are generally good for, like, competitive reasons. They're just not that useful in regular single... What? Oh, it's Kamala. I was, like, looking at it from the side. I was like, why am I looking at, like, a gray marsh shadow? That genuinely confused the fuck out of me for a second. Hello, Jigglypuffs. I can't wait to miss a shiny Jigglypuff and never know. That looks too similar. Oh, we need to beat up. Eevee and Voltorb. Yeah, we need Voltorb Sparks for something. I don't remember exactly what, but... We needed them. Yeah, we'll definitely have to just kind of wander around this area a little bit more tomorrow. See if we get any uh, useful encounters. Or not useful, you know, things we missed. Things we need for the decks. Yeah, at least Electrode and Drift... Electrode's supposed to be here and we don't have Drift Blim. Oh, you're saying here? No. Okay. The poor Soto Widows, man. There's a water bed here. Uh, we probably should be beating up Shirtles as we go. I think they're made for, like, Poison Jab or something. around the water anything we need bashkillin as you cop i would assume no oh yeah we need we need more patcherisus for thunderbolt like that's genuinely worth going for x's are the user slashes of the target by crossing its scythe claws or like they were something 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 right give me the toe pick what the fu oh like picture you mean i was like the toe like you were gonna like get my toe with like an ice pick uh, by crossing its scythe claws or or the like as if they were a pair of scissors. That's a good move! Nobody can learn it in the, the party currently. But, uh... Good move. Oh, there's an actual guy I can beat up! Any more Pineco shit? I actually don't even think it's used for that much shit, but... But I need more of it, damn it. Oh, Shibel. I'm not Paco. Oh, and Gumi spawn around here, too. Where to land? It didn't land. Sorry, right, Panko, you look so fucking terrified of me. Can you go? You're the type of guy to call Taco Bell fine Mexican cuisine? I don't go to Taco Bell, I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> and besides, normal. I know, I know it's not. Actually, I've only been to Taco Bell like once in my life and I didn't care for it. That's just like the genuine truth. Uh, Wanna know the cutest Pokemon of them all? Because I'm gonna tell you. This is also a Dadeen. Sheila the Musician. Oh, never mind. She, she's got good taste. I, I keep waiting for someone to pull out a fucking Bruxish. You're a vegetarian, how liberal. Y yes! I'm. Whoa, I'm more green party than liberal, thank you very much. Don't don't put me that far right. <laughs> Allow me to illustrate for you many, the many qualities that make Pombo such a cute Wait, I lost! <laughs> Understandable how you got there. Uh, 
Let's see. Out of curiosity, did Pineco respawn? Okay, that was not my intent. I guess I'm bidding up a Shirtle Blow. I was gonna need to do it eventually anyway. We have loaded die, so this should kill. And boom. Well, so much for going to bed at a reasonable time today. Yeah, it's somehow got to pull up like a bug encounter thing and uh, let's go to town on Pinecos. We know that they're in the general area. So that helps. Lilligan? I do have a Lilligan already. I think we need to benefit from more petal little shit though. A whopping two. Misty Seed, uh, Misty Terrain boost the user Spidef stat. Gotcha. I was gonna say, I wonder. Oh, that was Zorua. Ah! I mean, I'll take it. Okay, you beat up a Kamala, I guess, sure. Piggy boys. Low kick. Okay, I felt like I was gonna say something, and I just do not remember for the life of me what it was. In this case, Zoro is transforming into things that aren't, like, on this... Or, like, I haven't seen normally on this route. I don't know if that... That might just be more of a coincidence, though. Any of interest? I guess we can fight this. Do you think human meat is kosher? Okay, let me let me get the definition here. What do you, what do you mean by kosher? Sorry, I'm... Let's just make sure I'm on the same page. Do you just mean, I mean, I... Would, do you mean more like along the like, way, do I think human meat's ethical, I think is a better way to... I'm assuming is what you mean. Um, human meat... Okay, honestly, if we're thinking purely ethically, if a human, I guess, consents to having their meat eaten, after they die of some form of natural causes. You know, like they're not like being murdered. I guess, I mean, I guess if they're gonna commit suicide, that's a, that's a weird case though. But I feel like if they're gonna commit suicide, they should be put on fucking, you know, should get help. But like, yeah, if, like if someone dies of some sort of natural causes that they have no control over and they consent to being eaten, I don't see why not. Now, I mean, could Jewish people technically eat human me without going against, oh, I don't, I don't know if enough about Jewish you know, meat, like, rules. I'm just not aware enough of that sort of thing, to be honest. Damn, I was gonna go about, I was gonna go on my cannibalism rant, and then you're like, oh no, I didn't mean that. Once again, someone ruins my cannibalism rants. That was my senior high school essay was about cannibalism. Nobody lets me talk about it. Jewish people cannot eat human meat. What's like the rule for it? Like, like, like what is their, their rule for meat? Like I genuinely don't know. It's just not relevant in my life because I know one Jewish person uh, and I never like cooked for him or anything. And I don't even know if he like is like that strict of a, a Jewish person. So. I was like, I was like, oh, another little again. Nope, that's, that's speed ops, but you tried. Man likes little again. What can I say? We're actually fighting Pinecos. Yippee. Energy powder. For Jean. I don't know why I felt the need to beat that Persian up. Ultra Ball. Oh, excuse me, Trump. Oh, more Pamo! More Pammy! There's the last little bit I wanted to check up on. 
I just yeet Pummel off the side. Oh, we're gonna be waking up some Persians. Are these like actual Persians or are they ditto Persians? Or are they Zoro Persians? See, I think the only things, yeah, that we are. Okay, well, I fucked that up. You lied? Okay. Um. What was I trying to say? Oh yeah, I think just Electrode and Driftwind are the only thing that I've at least seen on the mini-map that we don't have as of now. <laughs> Excuse me. That was a gnarly burp. And we could go for more, um... Oh, Timer Ball. Don't have too many of those. Ah! Uh, we could go for more graveyard stuff too if we really need it. I think there's a couple TMs that they use them. Little low kicks up here. Water pulse. Ah, okay, I see. Go go. Oh go. Yeah, we do have that one shiny skiddo. Be cool to get a shiny go go as well. Anything with a hoof you shouldn't eat. Split. Okay, now I don't mean to be that guy, but who the fuck came up with that rule? That's stupid. Then again, I just think most rules in religion are stupid. Not gonna lie. Hey, good job, Punk Malzun. But that's just like so oddly specific. Wait, no, uh... <laughs> Google is stupid. Oh my god, Punk Malzun with the double dodge! Oh, sorry, no, let's get over there. all so cheery. Get him just sitting here catching their, like, father. <laughs> Cool. Honestly, Gogo is like bigger than I expect for some reason. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it just gives big energy. That doesn't like make any sense what I just said, but just pretend it does. That could have been worse actually. Uh, the Torah's Leviticus 11.3 states that animals that are kosher have split hooves and chew their cud, such as cow, sheep, and deer. Pigs do not chew their cud, so they are not kosher. Okay, now can you Google why it matters? Like, like genuinely. Now I'm just being a, 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 a pain in the ass, but like, who gives a shit? No, Hook Mouse, don't cry! Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm like, I don't, a lot of religious shit I just like don't get. I'm like, how the, f who came up with this and why? <laughs> like literally at that point, just say, don't eat pigs. Because they're more intelligent than other animals, typically. But like, yeah, like, cows are still pretty intelligent. But you have that! Okay. Guess we're clicking Thunderbolt. This thing does not want to be caught. One more time. Oh, we still have to catch the Spupa. We found that once and accidentally fainted and never found another one, funny enough. A lot of seed bombing. It's because they think God... Well, yeah, I... <laughs> I figured that they thought... They think God wants a knee... Or, like, like... However the rule came about, we... But, like, that doesn't explain, like, why they think God wanted that. Are you gonna faint yourself? Yeah, I have 30. I'm just gonna use an Ultra Ball here. Because it's God's given diet. But, like, why did God give that diet? There's gotta be more reasoning behind just, like... It's just like a parent going... The kid going, why do I have to do this? Because I told you. <laughs> God, what, are you not, like, a historian on this? Go go, the mouth Pokemon. It can sense the feelings of others by touching them with its horns. The species has assisted people with their work since 5,000 years ago. Aww. I wonder if these guys are gonna be in Legend ZA. That'd be pretty cool. Like if they could like ride Go go or something. Anyway. Anyway, hoofy heefy. <laughs> Oh, oh, they're like, poof, they're button heads. Hey, look, I got 
Oh, they're so silly and cute. I love them. I have a pretty view. I don't think I can get too much closer without waking them all up. Sorry, guys. I'll let you guys be. I just think you guys are cute. Oh, sorry. I, I love it just running by everyone and waking them all up. Like how Legend of Arceus, you gotta like sneak up to him on the ice in this game, they just immediately wake up. They're like, what the fuck do you want? Oh yeah, there's some of the can't get that though, unfortunately, I don't think. Oh we got our ultra wall back. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's a way up there as of now. Oh wait, no, actually I think we would be going up there via this path. Cause that's that's our plan for tomorrow, I think, is to go up that path. Um yeah, real quick, we'll just have a plan. I think we probably either fight the gym or do this little path here, go this way, do that. Um, I kind of want to explore a little bit more in here up to, like, this bit that doesn't even seem to have a bridge. And then in here. And then I'm assuming, we take a look in here, and I'm assuming this leads into a cave. Also a Saw's Book outbreak. That's kind of cool. I'm assuming this is, see where that goes. Oh, and then it actually continues up. Um, although I'm not sure we want to go all the way up over here. I think we hold off on this bit, although, cause, well, you probably, it's probably you jump, just jump down and you keep going to get to this point. We probably won't go to the Pokemon Center, but we'll just check in there. And then if we still have time, we will, uh, start making our way to the next, uh, Pokemon. I figure I may as well use an excuse to fly real quick since we have the ability. Or glide. Once we land, we'll go back to where we were. He definitely starts slowly going downward. I don't know if there's any other, like, mons that I... super need. And then, yeah, we'll probably end up doing a little more Pessimian or Nguru. Or at least we'd benefit, probably, from a little more uh, Pessimian. Since that's the Violet exclusive. Although neither, from what I, Nemanja said, neither of them actually use, um, or neither of their supplies are actually used for TMs, so. At that point, I'm more just be looking for off chance I get a lucky shiny or something. Okay, I should actually head back and not dilly-dally too much, because yeah, it's already 1147. Who made it this late? This game just sucks up all my time. I'm playing too fast while I'm playing this game. But, I mean, that's a good thing. It's because I'm enjoying myself. Oh, I got another grassy seat. I was going to say, yeah, I, we've got, we found a few random mints lying around here and there. I wonder if, like, those specific spots can respawn mints. Which I don't know where those were. Um, or if it's like a rare chance. I really don't know how the mint stuff generally functions. Um, yeah, so tomorrow we will... Oh, look at that, Persian. We'll go, yeah, over this way and... Yeah. A lot of guys over here. Expound. Okay, let's do a heal. One thing. Oh yeah, I wanted to look at the X's or TM as well, real quick. And then yeah, we'll wrap up. Okay. Oh, cool. I want to see if we can craft X's or, or if not, like what we're missing. <sighs> and then yeah, obviously the gym tomorrow as well. Probably I'll do that first, just because it'll help us catch the Alec Electro and shit. That's not bug type, but you tried. Oh yeah, we can do Pollen Puff now. Hello is the only thing that's a little inconsistent. Foman- okay, we don't actually know where Fomantis is. Baruntula Cricketot. Okay. 105. X-Scissor. 
Oh yeah, and if we meet the gym, we'll have to uh, put the sandwich recipes into the spreadsheet a bit too. Which is a bit tedious, but I think it's worth it. Because we've, we've actively have used it multiple times, the spreadsheet, for that sort of thing. So, you know, sucks short term, but it's worth it long run. And then, yeah, we can also try to look up some of these question mark mons. Um, okay, yeah, I gotta wrap up. I gotta get my sleepy eepy weepies in. As much as I wanna keep gaming more and more and more. We gotta wrap things up here. So, uh, yeah, that'll wrap up here. Next time we will, yeah, take on our fifth gym leader, the normal type, uh, do some more exploring, and we'll kind of just go from there. But, uh, yeah, it's gonna wrap things up here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll be streaming again tomorrow as always. Hope to see you guys then. Thanks for watching and goodbye.